This is a HeadGum Podcast. Greetings, Nadpoles. It is I, the Breakfast Wizard, here to talk to you about Magic Spoon, the sacred artifact I use to cast my serial mancy spells. After years of... Oh, what's that? Ah, oh, it turns out this is an ad for Magic Spoon the Serial, not by spellcasting focus. As such, I'm going to let Caldwell take over. Ta-ta! Hey gang, Caldwell here. Sorry about that. Real quick, here is what you need to know. Birthday cake flavor is back. That's right, this limited edition cereal was so popular that Magic Spoon brought it back, and now you can get it for yourself. For a limited time, Magic Spoon is offering a free box of birthday cake cereal with every purchase, including subscriptions. This cereal is normally $10, so this gift with purchase is a great deal. To take advantage of this offer, head to magicspoon.com slash pawpawbday to grab a custom bundle of cereal and get a free box of birthday cake and try the magic for yourself. Remember, this exclusive offer is only available to NADPOD listeners. So go to magicspoon.com slash pawpawbday to add a free box of birthday cake to any order. Magic Spoon is so confident in their product, it is backed with a 100% happiness guarantee. So if you don't like it for any reason, they will refund your money, no questions asked. Okay, the Breakfast Wizard is still loose in my house somewhere, so I have to go. Thanks for listening, and see you next time. Welcome to the campaign after the campaign. This is not another D&D podcast. Welcome back to Bohemia, everyone. Bohemia. I'm your Dungeon Master, Brian Murphy, joined by Jake Hurwitz. Hard one, Surefoot. Emily Axford. Moonshine Sabin. Tundra Trollop. Oh, good. <laughs> yeah, we'll take that. And Caldwell Tanner. <laughs> Beverly took all the fifth snow, boy. Ooh. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'll take that, too. Yeah, you know. You can build a snow, boy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. C plus and B minus. Thank I won't you. tell Thank you who you. got C-pl- what. A tundra trollop is tundra really trollop. good. I, I Honestly, that's like one of my better ones. All right, ones. Yeah. an A. You got an A. You bullied me into giving you an A. <laughs> All right, guys, let's do a little oh, recap. Uh-huh. So last week, you guys traveled into the Valley of the Frigid Death. Along mm. the way, you almost lost Beverly's ram, Ram Daniel, to a snow-covered pit, but then spent a good 10 minutes of air time saving him. <laughs> well spent. Uh-huh. Yeah. Immediately after that, you were ambushed by Frost Knolls, but beat them handily. Uh, still, their bloodlust and dedication to feeding Yanoba, aka the purple worm that lives in the valley, was a bit disturbing to say the least. You traveled until you reached the main knoll tunnels and spent the night with quote unquote friend of the Winter Wolves, Bastion, a big old disgusting knoll and blowhard who could offer you passage. Bastion showed you his wares, all of these mistreated, beautiful gifts that had been given to him over the years by people paying him as a guide and you guys offered up some of your own stuff for his service. A few platinum, the water titan's trident, and hard one's last bit of arcane. I regret giving him that. (laughs) (laughs) Bastion then led you into the knoll tunnels, aka the knoll holes, uh, where the knolls weren't quite as respectful to Bastion as he might have led you to believe. Along the way, you witnessed a Yanoba feeding ritual where a knoll with water or paint summoned the beast to eat a sacrificial knoll, sending the beasts around it into a bloodlust. The painted knoll then confronted Bastion about leading so many guests through the tunnels recently and suggested that allowing so much passage might be more sacrilegious than killing Bastion, the great survivor. And that's where we are now. So the knoll with the war paint has just threatened you. The other knolls are still going crazy with bloodlust from the feeding ritual. And Bastion kind of just uh, pipes up and stands in front of you guys and goes, And maybe we don't eat these guys, you know? You know, but just ate. Maybe she's full. And the war paint knoll interrupts. You know, but is always hungry. The mother worm lusts for sweet men. Da, 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 da. Honestly, I'm pretty spicy. <laughs> I gotta be honest, I'm a sweet veal loaf. Beverly Bastion grabs you and in a panic whispers desperately, Hey man, maybe we don't bring up how sweet we are, huh? Okay. Bastion has this little moment with you guys, uh, and when you turn back around, you see that the war paint knoll is just staring at you with unblinking eyes. Bastion kind of just laughs nervously and goes, 
Well, uh, we'll be on our way then. Cheerio. Bastion begins to kind of push you and hurry you out, but the knoll calls out from behind you. Careful out there. The caves are long and winding, and, um... Did you lose your train yeah. of thought there? <laughs> the caves, long, windy caves are long and windy, and if you're in there for a long time, maybe you know, but get... Fuck you, fuck you. Yep. Uh, he gets... Uh, you see he uh, scrambles off into another little tunnel. You guys see that Bastion is very rattled by his interaction with this guy. All right. Y'all, what do you say we cast a little pass without trace? Seems That's smart. A nice to, uh, idea. perhaps take some cover from these prying yellow eyes. You read my mind. All right. Uh, huddle might, up, even you. I might leave. What? Excuse Bastion. me? Not that I care, but, um, you know, I don't know. If people are getting mad, then uh, <laughs> maybe... I turned around, you know, you guys figured it out. I thought that you were like the most popular guy in here. I felt I felt like a million bucks coming in here with you. Yeah. You're yeah, the you're man, the holy Bastion. survivor. Yeah. yeah I'm, I'm not personally scared right now because I know I'm with you. Oh, uh, dude, <laughs> me being scared? Why would I be scared, yeah, dude, man? that war was fucking horrifying. And you're saying yeah. it looked at you. Yeah. And it was like, no, I can't win and that And it fight. just and freaking it, peaced out, man. Peaced yeah. Out. Yeah. It I left. Mean, yeah, I feel great. Bye. Okay, we're going. Yeah. <laughs> Let's do it. Uh, he continues Anyone to... have any kind of spell that gives someone courage? <laughs> uh, I have heroism. Oh, and Bastion tells you guys that this guy's name is Deep Rag. Deep Rag. Deep Rag. Hmm. He's uh, Deep um, Rag. a bit, uh, quite zealous uh, <laughs> uh, follower of Yenoba, if you will. Uh, yeah. Should show more respect to the Holy Survivor, though. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I honestly, I was relieved that you didn't pop him right then and uh, there. I, I could, I could see back. the restraint was, in your eyes. You eye. see him yeah. looking over his shoulder, just like looking down tunnels and making sure no one's listening. Yeah, what the freak it popped him, man? <laughs> Dude, <laughs> bastion, bastion. If I could have, oh, guys, so bastion. quiet. We've been so <laughs> quiet now. It's just, oh, I would have popped him if I could. Bastion? You guys saw that when he, when the other guy ran off, he ran like a fucking wolf. Just got down on all fours and just like sprung forward into some tunnels. And Bastion <laughs> just like hobbling along with you guys. <laughs> You're so tough, Bastion. Yeah, yeah. Dude. Okay. Yeah. So, um, Bastion, uh, you guys have, like, sufficiently kind of shamed him into having to act tough, but he mm -hmm. looks very scared. <laughs> um, so Bastion puts on a brave face and continues to take you through the tunnels. You pass menacing gnolls who don't break eye contact with you. The path is constantly changing because they're based on Unopa's movements. So Bastion takes a few minutes here and there to try to figure out where to go, but eventually finds the path. Uh, a couple times you feel tremors and stuff, uh, and you hear explosions of like you know it coming out of the ground in the not so far distance. Uh, and Bastion just kind of laughs to himself and he goes. <laughs> Seems like old uh, Deep Rag might be uh, uh, trying to make things difficult for us. <laughs> can, can I Should we turn back? Can I ask a question, yes. Bastion? I'm a little confused because I thought I had heard that the worm only feeds at night. The worm only feeds at night outside because gnolls feed them during the day. So the gnolls oh. keep him at bay during the day. But at yeah. night, he's out and he causes a fright. There you go. This yeah. kid rhymes. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Days at bay, nights it's of fright. Classic Noel fairy tale, I understand. Right. All right. And normally, uh, everybody kind of just lets me through, but everybody uh, seems to be a little mad that I let the small army through. Uh, they're jealous. <laughs> uh, You're the survivor. Yeah, dude. You guys want to go home? Survivor. No. No? No way. <laughs> cool, dude. Do yeah. you want to go home? No. Honestly, me? I'm just trying Unless to... Unless everyone else wanted to go home. Guys, I won't even eat your ram. Let's go find the rams. I'm worried about the Ryan. Is <laughs> anyone else worried? Honestly, I'm... <laughs> I, it hurts me to admit this, but Ryan's a goner. <laughs> why, 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 Ryan? <laughs> because he seemed the most, he was the biggest in the media. He was yeah. the bravest. Because he I, ran up first. <laughs> His haunches were just real succulent. You know, I think our Rams are the most screwed because we just kind of slapped their butts and let them go. Maybe the Knolls <laughs> probably just chased them while the loved Rams uh, with bark skin and a holy blessing uh, <laughs> snuck up into the mountains. <laughs> 
Just calling it like it is, you know? I don't know. The two very distinct rams maybe got hunted. Right? Which is more Especially earth- if one of them glowed. <laughs> more earthquakes, a rock hits you all in the head. I'll tell you uh, what. Bastion. Let's hash it out. Hey, if we make this through, if we make it through this, we'll get you your own ram. We'll get you a whole ram sandwich. Oh, that a little rammy sammies. Uh, so you guys continue the through the tunnels. On rye. <laughs> nice. <laughs> you guys continue through the tunnels uh, until you happen upon a huge cave. It looks like Yenoba may have very recently gone buck wild in here. There is a big pit 100 feet wide in diameter that separates you from the other side of the tunnel. Uh, you can see a bit of torch light on the other side where the tunnel starts up again. And Bastion goes, this was not here before. I think we're being um, trolled. Uh, <laughs> no trolled. No trolled. No yeah. trolled. Uh, yeah, we're being nulled right now. No <laughs> trolled. Uh, we got wormed. So what do y'all want to do? Do y'all want to spider climb or y'all want a gaseous form? Get not everyone can gaseous form if we do that. Let's spider climb. Spider climb then. Yeah. Okay. And let's okay. do it quick. This worm is on the hood. Yeah. Who's, it's a hunky. Ca- who's carrying me? Me. <laughs> All right. Uh, this giant knoll, like like four hundred pounds, uh, tries to. P- jump on you piggyback style. Okay, you know what? <laughs> we'll put you in the bag. Yeah, you'll like it in there. There's a lot of cool shit. What the bag? How do I go in the bag? Baldor, do the honors. <laughs> All right, check it out, man. It's a pretty cool bag. <laughs> yeah, he just throws it over his head. Uh, B- uh, Bastion disappears into the bag. All right, we got Sweet. a limited time. Let's okay, I, I can only cast it on three people, spider climb. Oh. And I can only do it one at a time. I can hang on to hard one or... Oh, yeah, that's right. not a bad idea. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. And yeah. then Bev could hang on to me, right? That's smart, presumably. yeah. Yeah. Let's, Let's just rope okay. ourselves onto y'all. Right, so I'm going to cast Spider Climb on Hard One while uh, Balnor is tied to him. All right. Great. Hop on, Balnor. Bl- Blay on. Is that what we say? Moonshine, do you want to give them the, the Featherfall ring just in case? Yeah, here. Um, oh, I put looks it, good on you. I go to put it on Balnor, and he looks too excited to get a ring from me, so <laughs> I do a hard pivot oh. and turn to the hard maybe one. at the crick. The <laughs> it only fits on my pinky, more. but it looks awesome. <laughs> Ooh, um, a pinky ring? Yeah. Ooh, you're like a mobster. I love it. <laughs> what is the okay. language of spider climb? Until the spell ends, one willing creature you touch gains the ability to move up, down, and across vertical surfaces and upside down along ceilings while leaving its hands free. The target also gains a climbing speed equal to its walking speed. Dope. Thanks. You can just skitter. Yeah. I skitter. So, hard one. Uh, Moonshine touches you. Uh, you feel uh, this magic under your feet. They feel like webbing. You feel like sticking to the floor like you're Spider-Man. Can Spider-Man do that? No. Spider-Man has yeah. webs. But he can walk on walls. Yeah, he can stuff. walk on walls. Yeah, he can walk on walls. He makes walls. his own webbing, actually. <laughs> there you go. Like <laughs> Spider-Man, hard one. Uh-huh. Spider-Man. Spider-Man. <laughs> Balnor hops on your back, Chow Tzu style, (laughs) Uh, is tied to you. All right, bud, let's get going. Uh, You hop up and start running across the wall horizontally. I'm just going to roll some pure luck checks to see how many earthquakes there are and to see if any, like, rocks come down and you need to, like, dodge. Can we just point out that Balnor is literally a dad pack right now? A dad pack. Dad pack. Shout out to the two crew. Woo woo! Um, so I'm gonna need you to make a dexterity saving throw as um, as as you get about a quarter of the way around the room, running sideways like Sonic the Hedgehog That's with why Balnor. Sure foot. With Balnor on your back, uh, there's another earthquake, oh, and uh, shit. you're shaking, but your feet stay stuck to the wall. But if you detach, you fall. Some rocks start falling from above you. 16. 16. Okay, that's enough. Uh, You are able to move out of the way of a big boulder as it's coming right down. You duck down. It looks awesome because you're just like laying, you're like planking horizontally across across a rock wall. Uh, And then you keep running. 15, you're fine. 17, you're fine. 19, you're fine. Hard one makes it all the way to the other side. Nice. Open the bag. You open the bag. (laughs) A lot of fun stuff in there. (laughs) Check his pockets. Oh, yeah. I I, (laughs) pat him down. He has everything. (laughs) (laughs) He has has the cursed book. He has the the cursed armor. He just is like, has it like under his clothes. Right. I, I, I. peek under all of his skin folds and I put everything back <laughs> one by one. He put it back in the bag. Some yeah. real 
And I uh, want that book. You do. You and me talk it later. Balnor, we you guard this bag. You guard this bag with your life. Give me that back. You see, Balnor gets in Bastion's I, face. I yell across. Did he shart in the bag? <laughs> I, I did shut. It. Yeah, it's, it smells awful. <laughs> he didn't. I uh, just, I, I, I freaking uh, Dutch oven did. <laughs> I Dutch stuff in the mixed bag. <laughs> uh, so Moonshine and Bev are over on the other side. What's All right, that, guys. Uh, so I'm gonna cat. What's your dex? Uh, nah, there's no way you could zero. carry me. That's no, you ridiculous. have a better deck. Okay, yeah. Um, so I cast Spider Climb on myself. Okay. And uh, I'm duct tape Bev to myself. <laughs> Great. I reveal that I had duct tape all along. <laughs> oh, wow. Um, so pliable. While I'm at it, I duct tape my overall bib shut so that uh, Papa Papa can't just stuck in there. slip <laughs> out. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, safety first, Papa. I, li- I like to think that Bev is just like uh, taped around the midsection and his legs and his hands are just drooped over like a baby Bjorn. <laughs> just like a reverse baby Bjorn. He's just facing yeah. out. Uh, okay. Um, so I'm going to roll four luck checks for you as you just Alrighty. run across. You start okay. running. Can I have like a javelin out just to like slam it into a wall to slow us down? Oh, interesting. Yeah. I'll let cool. you do that. So you got a, you got a javelin out. First roll is a 12. You're fine. Second roll is a 13. You're fine. Third roll is a three. Go ahead and give me a deck saving throw. Ooh. Entire cave shakes and some rocks. Don't worry. You get my, my unctuous ointment. Okay. That's going to be 22. Yeah. 22. Okay. Aww. That's pretty dope. I'll say a rock comes down and you jump. Bev sticks the javelin in, and then you plant your feet back, uh, so and good. you stick on the wall. Very Can we just cool. stay like this? Um, high five. <laughs> <laughs> I try and awkwardly high five her Give backwards. Give me some skin. Oh, <laughs> sorry, I got to lo- loose you from the duct tape. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Balnor just quietly goes, they're doing it cooler than us. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, Balnor. Uh, nobody does it cooler than us, okay, guys? Okay, boys? Yeah. Right? We're the gang. Bastion was shitting in the bag at this point. <laughs> Farting in the bag. <laughs> I don't know that. <laughs> nice having eyes in the back of my Bev. <laughs> uh, then uh, one more luck check. 18, you're good. Woo, uh, you make woo, it to the other side. Do we we s- land like a like an Olympic gymnast. I put my arms out up. You put your arms out down. We look like we we're look doing like a cool a X. Cool star. Yeah. Yeah. And we both look up. <sighs> <sighs> just some light clapping from Balnor. You guys did it cooler than us. Me and, me and Hard One were just talking about it. Shut up, Balnor. <laughs> Shut up, Balnor. Fred, dude. This guy knows, man. Whose team is this guy on? Yeah, Bastion puts his arm around Hard One. Me and this guy. Human, man. Oh, so oily. So I, slick. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a human. We're like a regular pretty, Spider pretty Gwen and Spider Man. <laughs> so you guys all reach the other side and you head off. You feel the tremors getting bigger as you move along. You run into more gnolls who call after you as you pass. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Look at is... you. Right. We're being... They tell us to smile. I'm gonna lose my smile. shit. Absolutely being objectified. Are we hey. being? Are hey, we being... guy with the beard, smile, man. I think we're being dog called. Hey, kid. I think we kid are. Kid with the braces, smile. <laughs> hey, where's that little possum? Hey, up yours. Smile. Who's that little rat over there? <laughs> Uh, you guys get dog called. Um, <laughs> oh, man. Hey, why wouldn't I do? Look at this badonka donk. It's <laughs> true. Keep walking I'm forward. Such a plump rump. <laughs> um, you pass these knolls and continue along until there is another pit that breaks up the tunnel, but this one is only about 20 feet in diameter. And Bastion goes, uh, This wasn't here yesterday, but it's smaller than other one, though. <laughs> Aw, does it have babies? Oh, does, dear. Little wormlings? Uh, no, 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 uh, no babies that I know of. Okay, well, that's good. Yeah, that would be more terrifying. Yeah. I mean, I'm all in support of a working mother, but, like, the less worms, the better, I would say. So let's, uh, let's basically do what we did last time with no spider climb, right? Yeah, we could yeah, jump this time, Yeah, because I don't have, oh, I don't have yeah, spider yeah, we could climb jump. Mm-hmm. anymore. Um, yeah, we could just do a straight-up jump, right? Well. Or do we not want to waste that? Oh, that wouldn't be wasting. I was looking at using a higher spell. <laughs> You can long jump your strength score. Like you're just straight up strength score, so like oh, mine's yep. 19. I can so. jump 25. Hmm. You can jump 25 feet because you're athlete thing. Yeah. Okay, what if I do this? Can I jump my 19 and then use my thorn whip to pull myself in 
closer. Ooh. Uh, I'll allow that. Okay, cool. <laughs> then I'm gonna do that. Okay. I would like to go first because if anyone, because I can thorn whip if someone misses for some reason or falls a little short, I can thorn whip and bring them closer. Great. So I want to go first. Okay. I'm gonna jump. And then thorn whip to try and like thorn whip around a thing to pull myself one foot further. I guess I'll just. You got a shit eating grin on you, and you're looking at a fucking Nobody toe right now. Nobody investigated the hole. No, oh, we did this before. So we jumped moonshine into the fucking... jumps across the hole. All right. Um, you guys see purplish webbing shoot up out of the hole. Uh, oh, it's a spider. Yep. Moonshine, as you jump across, you see a purple web shoots out of nowhere and encases you. And suddenly below that you could not see before, you see a giant purple spider glowing with arcane energy and a pit several hundred feet deep all gunked up with this purple web. It was invisible until you were in the web. And Moonshine, you are now falling and encased in web to the outside. You guys do not see the spider and you do not see moonshine. She just suddenly disappears and goes invisible. I uh, Moonshine? Well, I cast freedom of movement. Uh, I touch a willing creature, aka myself. I touch myself. Uh, for the duration, the target's movement is unaffected by difficult terrain. Spells and other magical effects can neither reduce the target's speed nor cause the target to be paralyzed or restrained. Sweet. Moonshine. The target can also spend five feet of movement to automatically escape from non-magical restraints, such as manacles or a creature that it has it grappled. Finally, being underwater imposes no penalties. All right, you escape. But you, are, you are falling. Uh, so oh. you jump across, so we can see her now. No, uh, you guys can't see her because she has fallen down the hole. Oh, so oh. moonshine. Um, you jump. Uh, you get caught in this webbing. You start to fall. You cast this spell. You're able to wriggle yourself free with like arcane movement. Can it be like I'm so magical that I've like charmed the web to be on my side, so it like releases me? It because re- it respects me. It re- I respect you. (laughs) Um, And you see below you is more of this purple webbing. FYI, this lasts for an hour, so I won't get caught in more webbing. Okay. Okay. Moonshine. Oh my God, am I going to die now? You fall right through the web. (gasps) Oh. Can I grab onto something though, like a twig or the, or can I grab onto the web? Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll say even if you're not restrained by the webs, you can still grab them. So as you fall, you get to the area that you know the web was gunking up the hole. You grab onto some of the webbing to stop yourself, and it feels like silk rope. So Moonshine, I'll say that now you're that you're surrounded by the spider's magic web. You can once again see the spider again, now skittering down the wall, heading towards you. Uh, up top, you guys see nothing. Moonshine has just disappeared, and when you look down the hole, you just see a pit. Uh, She's just gone. Moonshine? Moonshine! Can I hear them? Yeah. Down here! What What happened? Well, I used a fourth level spell, and now spiders' webs can't touch me. There's a spider? Congrats. Oh, yeah, oh. thank you so much. I She's got an dead. hour. What are you talking about? She's Bastion. talking to us. Uh, no, uh, g- uh, we got to leave. That's ghost legs. Ghost legs? Yeah, ghost legs. We gotta go, man. No. He's bad news. That sounds like a cool dance. No, he's bad. Where is he? How do we see him? You can't see him. All right. Moonshine, hug the wall. I cast Moonbeam. Bev, I'm gonna say since you're shooting blind, you're gonna need to give a, a spell attack roll with disadvantage just to see what you're able to hit down there. So that's plus four. Uh, Ten. Cool, so the beam comes down. Moonshine, you suddenly see this glowing, radiant light shoot down and starts breaking up a bunch of the web, um, making the area you're holding on to a little less stable. Everybody roll initiative. Yeah. Oh, right. okay. Yeah, let's just roll initiative. Let's get into it, right? If yeah. I'm still falling, though, I have to deal You're not with falling, that. you're hanging on oh, to the web. Oh, okay. 13, uh, 10. Nine. Can we see the spider? You guys can't see the spider. <laughs> Um, Moonshine, you can see the spider because you're in the web. You see this big purple spider. To you, when like you're invisible because of somebody else's spell, you probably don't even know that you're invisible. Y'all, you're something in feels funny. <laughs> we can't see you. Yeah, you guys just look down the hole. There's yeah. fucking nothing. 
Uh, and, you see, and Bastion goes, uh, when I see other people go invisible, they get, uh, when they do something or they attack, they come out of invisible, but not this guy. Okay. Um, he, uh, This is a real sucky riddle. <laughs> this purple spider uh, comes forward and bites at you with these giant pincers. Yeah, Moonshine. bring it on, come on. He hits... One D, actually, he's going to do very little damage to you um, because he's in ghost walk form, and that means he does less. This is from Cobalt's Tome of, uh, Cobalt Press's Tome of Foes, by the way, Hey, guys. thanks, cool. Cobalt Tome. Fuck you. Ooh. Cool spider. Oh, yeah. I ghost feel... walk spider, everybody. Um, Moonshine, go ahead and give me a constitution saving throw. Ooh, this is bad. I need luck. Got a six. Okay, he does 13 damage on the first hit. Okay. Um, and then he's going to take another swing. And he misses on the second attack. You're like fucking. Why can't I think of Sam's name right now? Sam was oh, Gangi. Yeah, you, you're freaking Sam Gangi right now. <laughs> um, getting getting grabbed at uh, by the spider's pincers, and you're just like scrambling out of the way, uh, hanging onto the wall, hanging onto these like hanging webs. Um, <sighs> that is Bev's turn. All right, can I cast? Detect evil and good. It's probably not an aberration, celestial, elemental, fey, fiend, or undead. It is not any of those things. Cool. <laughs> All right. Um, mm. Well, <laughs> cool turn. <laughs> okay, that's uh, hard one. Should have actually gone before Bev. I messed up, but it's fine. Hard one, you go after Bev. So hard cool. one, it's your turn. I low five Bev. <laughs> I am just going to run and jump into the hole. <laughs> Okay. Moonshine's down there. She disappeared. She's out. Big spider. Good. I guess I'm just going to run and jump, swing my axe over my head, hoping to uh, chop a, a spider. Can or, I okay. see this and be screaming so he knows like so, where hard I one. am? You jump down the hole. You don't see shit. It just looks like you're falling. You're swinging the axe down. Um, I'm going to give you... Okay. So I'm going to say you're probably jumping away from the moonbeam because you know they're not there. Yes. Uh, so you're jumping to the far side, kind of like near where Moonshine was. Um, if you're going to jump down blind, give me a pure luck check. One through five, you're going to fall through the weakened web. Six through ten, you're going to land on Moonshine. Eleven through fifteen, you get an attack with disadvantage on the spider. And sixteen through twenty, you luck out and just get a regular attack. Cool. Oh, just raw, you said. Just raw. Thirteen. Thirteen. Okay. Moonshine, you see Hard One has jumped off and is falling and is just kind of swinging his axe wildly. You probably Hi-ya! thought you probably thought they might have come like 20 or 30 feet ago. <laughs> Where are you, you cowards? <laughs> um, he falls Don't down. Don't hit me, I'm right here, I'm right here, I'm right here. Right. Um, 13's not going to be good enough for you to land directly on this spider, but you're kind of in the general area. Go ahead and make an attack roll with disadvantage. 20. 20. Wow. Nat? Two 20s. Not you, nat. you hit this thing. Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah. Cool. What sounds does spiders make? Hiss? Yeah. Oh, that's so creepy. <laughs> wow. Who would have thought the answer to the puzzle was jumping? <laughs> 15 damage. It's the only thing I 15 can 15 damage. <laughs> um, you slash down, listening to Moonshine's voice where she's yelling. She's probably directing you a little to the left, a little to the left. <laughs> uh, as your feather falling down, you have l- enough time to kind of... Uh, you kind of swim. You like yeah. swim through the air. Oh, yeah. Like get there. pumping my legs uh, like for, <laughs> for no reason. Uh, you swing down and you do successfully hit this thing. You see for a split second... Uh, this giant purple arcane spider appears. Oh, and, I saw the bug. And looks at you just as crazy pincers. After hitting him, you keep falling. You fall in this purple web and you get wrapped up in it instantly. You're like stuck there. Cool. Um, and you're stuck in this web. I'll say you're not fully restrained yet because he hasn't wrapped you up, but you're stuck. You can still swing your axe, but like your body is in this fucking web. Sweet. I can swing the axe, but not like with the full force of my legs. There you go. Okay. Um, and Moonshine's hanging next to you and suddenly you see the spider now that you're touching the purple web and, um, uh, you see Moonshine as well. You guys are all in this weird little world. How's it going? (laughs) This thing's uglier than Bastion. Uh, Yeah. (laughs) More Uh, royals too. (laughs) Can I swing my axe a second time? Uh, Yeah. Go for attack? it. Yeah. Cool. With, uh, with yeah. disadvantage. I'll say with disadvantage because you are in the uh, in the in the web. So that's gonna be a thirteen. Thirteen does not hit this spider. Uh, so you swing, itself. but he's able to skitter away. Um, that is Moonshine's turn again. All right, I'm going to cast Fairy Fire yeah. on this fucker. Yes. Okay. That means each object in a twenty foot cube, which is our our the shape. 
uh, within range is outlined in blue, green, or violet light. Uh, your choice. Let's go violet. Sounds yeah. nice. Any creature in the area when the spell is cast is also outlined in light if it fails a dexterity saving throw. For the duration, objects and affected creatures shed dim light in a 10-foot radius. Any attack roll against an affected creature or object has advantage if the attacker can see it and the affected creature or object can't benefit from being invisible. Sweet. Okay, deck saving throw. I'll roll it in front of the table. He's got a plus five Thank to dex. He's very dexterous. Oh, that's... What do you get? 15, so 20. So he's okay. saved. So he hmm. passes, but the web suddenly appears. Okay. Oh, that's good. And, I, that's and I appear and hard one appears. Yes, that's true. Like ghostly forms yeah, of them. Yeah, ghostly forms of them. You so see we... like lines over them. So Oh, yeah. dang! I wave at them. Oh, that's nasty. <laughs> oh, and yeah. then um, I, as a bonus action, I want to go into a rage. Okay, sweet. Tight. Um, that is Balnor's turn. Uh, Balnor looks over the edge and he goes, uh, Wait, Balnor, maybe you should keep an eye on our guide so that he doesn't run away if we all jump into the hole? Not a bad idea. Uh -huh. Put him back in the bag, actually. Uh -huh. Get back in the bag, buddy. You see, oh. Balnor uses his turn to throw the bag over Bastion. <laughs> oh, lots of good goodies in there. Weird. Good on you, Balnor. Uh, that is back around to the spider. Mm -hmm. He is going to use a bonus action uh, to go out of his invisible state because uh, currently he can't do full damage on his attacks when he's invisible. So he comes out of being invisible. So now Balnor, Bev, everybody up top can see this purple spider. Uh, and you also see the terrifying vision of this purple spider walking across its web and biting at a near defenseless hard one. Okay. Oh, dang. Oh. Uh, Glad I jumped. Hard one, super, a bug. Super hits on the first attack. Oh, I hate spiders. Uh, go ahead and give me a uh, constitution saving throw to not be poisoned. Cool. Also, I get uh, advantage on constitution saving throw. Sweet. Throws. Oh, was I poisoned? Because I failed my constitution saving throw before. You just took the damage. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. I should mention, by the way, that when I tried to cast Detect Evil and Good, uh, the moonbeam faded away, so... Got it. The moonbeam's not there anymore. Mm. Cool. Okay. Um, you guys do see, now that you've outlined um, all of this face stuff in the area, or all this magical stuff in the area, you do see that there's more webbing below. Mm -hmm. So um, even if you fall, because you guys are in a pretty tenuous position, hard one's almost like mummy style, hanging on the side of the tunnel as moonshine's hanging on. If you guys fall deeper, you're like more fucked spider-wise, but you might not die from falling. Cool. Okay. Like Saint, Balnor, is fair. there a giant magazine in the bag of holding? Uh, I'll look. Okay. <laughs> uh, the uh, Bastion has already uh, stolen and soiled the magazine. Oh, uh, I got a 21 for my so wet. 21? Yeah. Okay, you pass. You only take half. Whew. No poison? Uh, nope. Uh, he does take some poison damage. So you take, uh, you take nine poison damage and then another 18 damage. So 27 damage total. Youch. Uh, he takes a second That's attack. A chunk. And he crits. I'm sorry. Oh, oh dear. Uh, go ahead and give me a constitution. Mr. Surefoot. Go ahead and give me a constitution saving throw. Imagine I'll pass. 23. 23 is going to pass. 42 damage of normal damage. Oh, my. And then poison damage is going to be halved and another 20 damage of God poison damn. half. You up? Are you still standing? Barely. Ooh. Hey, you up? Wait, 20 damage was halved? Or what? 20? No, that oh. 20 damage was already halved, yeah, because he crit. Cool. So he did an insane amount of damage. Um, Use your second wind or something. Ooh, yeah. Yes. That oh, is well, Beverly's turn. Okay. Uh, the webs are outlined? Yes. All right, well, let me cast Featherfall, and then I'm going to uh, try and line up my shot. I'm going to get my javelin out, and I'm going to try and just, like, plunge down on the spider. Okay, sweet. Falling yeah. through the webs. Sweet. Uh, it is out of invisible. Um, it is on top of the webs uh, near Moonshine, where the webs have been broken up a bit with the Moonbeam, so you can get a direct attack on them. So just take a regular old attack. Okay, cool. Ooh, 18. Uh, 18 plus hits. Eight, 26, yeah, great. Right, that's going to be uh, 11 damage. 11 damage? On my first attack. Um, I guess I'll do a Divine Smite. You can do a Divine Smite on the Javelin, yeah. Hell yeah, why not? Okay, yeah, yeah go ahead and roll your extra damage. Okay, Ooh. that's going to be... Sully, I hurt the spider. I'm going to do it, you know what? What the heck? I'm going to do a second level Divine Smite. That's 3d8. Hell yeah. All right. Ooh. So Bev comes down, Feather falls down, falling 60 feet per round, floating down like a beautiful boy angel. Uh, spear out. Uh-oh. Glowing comes... with radiant energy. Here comes Terminix. Uh, 
That's seven damage. <laughs> Another seven damage. Okay. Both. Uh, you still have, yeah, you uh, puncture this, you puncture his carapace. Uh, you see he starts bleeding this weird purple Do goo. I get abdomen or thorax? You get thorax. Hell yeah. yeah. Um, I, you have a second attack. I'm going to say you can choose. You can either try to like grab onto the wall as your second attack and not get caught in the web, or I'll let you do a second attack and keep falling, and you'll fall into the web. I'm going to do a second attack. Okay, sweet. Just a savage. Yeah. Yep. Uh, does 19 hit? 19 does hit. Woo! All right. I'm using my sword this time. Oh, sweet. Yes. Yeah, you javelin down into him, swords out in the other hand, swinging yeah. down. Yeah. That's going to be 12 extra damage, or 12, 12 extra, damage. 12 yeah. damage, nice. Cool. Uh, and then Bev falls down in this web, and he crashes from a pretty high distance. Uh, Moonshine's hanging on to it. Hard One's already in it. The spider's on it. Uh, it's already been like half destroyed. Pure luck. Let's see if the web holds or not. Uh, somebody give me a roll. It should not be me. I'm very unlucky. One through one through five, the web breaks, and you guys keep falling down. I haven't been rolling well on this kind of shit. Uh, do I get a... This is just raw? This is just a uh, luck. This is just to see if it holds. Could hard one use a luck point? No. Right. no, no, no. Damn it. Just, uh, uh, it's just I'll, a... I'll go for it. Okay. Is that okay? Yeah, yeah. Uh, 12. 12. You're good. Okay. Woo! Woo! Bev, you crash into the web. Uh, you get caught up in it. You're all stuck, um, but the web holds. Caught up in web. Caught up in a web. Uh, that is Hard One's turn. Your back is caught up against this crazy purple web. It's all wrapped around your legs. You can either swing your axe with disadvantage, or you can try to bust out and like grab onto the wall, but you can't do both. I guess I'll try to get out of the web and then I'll, yeah. yeah. Okay, right. uh, strength check. Murph, how beautiful is this spider? He's pretty beautiful. Yeah, yeah he's this, sparkling, this uh, image all is purple quite and appealing. magical. Does it have like a, a face or some sort of indistinct, uh, some sort of distinct pattern on its abdomen? <laughs> or, I mean, it's thorax. <laughs> oh yes, um, yeah, it's got like a little ye like yellow markings, Ooh. Oh, like a real purple Ooh. and yellow. Like a Twenty-two. You know 21. Really? 20, 21? twenty-one. Yeah. Um, so you just. <gasps> flex your leg muscles. A bunch of the webs burst around Nothing it. Nothing can hold my legs. <laughs> uh, and you grab onto the spider and use them as leverage and like grab onto a rock on the wall uh, and kind of pull yourself over. So now you're like bouldering on the side. Uh, yeah. Go ahead and just give me an athletics check to like hang Shred on. Shred the web. And to not fall back immediately. Uh, that's another 20. Awesome. Using your tiny little finger muscles, like hanging into the rocks so there. So sinewy. Just so <laughs> sinewy. Uh, up against the rock, you are now out of the web. Uh, that is Moonshine's turn. Wait, can I use my uh, action surge to take my take? Yes, to you can. Yes, you can. Do it up. Sweet. From my bouldering stance, I'm going to swing my axe. Sweet. Yeah, you're hanging on with one hand and just one-handed with the axe. Uh, that's a f I'm going to use a luck point. Okay. There we go. Yes. That's a 26. That super hits. 12 damage. 12 damage. Dude, fuck yeah. up this bug. I'm going to fuck this bug up. <laughs> Don't fuck me up. How fucked does the bug look? He looks a little <laughs> fucked. A little fucked. Uh, okay. All right. The second one's going to miss. 13. 13 does miss. Um, yeah, you're, you're, you're swinging the great axe with one arm, probably having a little too much fun being like, yeah, I'm one hand and a, a two hand. Who's the man now, Bastion? <laughs> <laughs> can I use a uh, bag? Can I, all right. Uh, can I do Just second wind right now, too? Doing it his own stuff. Uh, yes. That's yeah, yeah, you get his bonus right? action. Go ahead. This cool. must look so cool. You're just, <laughs> just trucking through out. web. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Moonshine, that's your turn. All right, I'm going to attack him. Unfortunately, I'm not in uh, fungal mode because I didn't have a uh, action to use that. I had to do fairy fire. Okay. But I'm so just going to do... Moonshine hanging by the web, swinging oh, I'm Rosaline. Just, yeah. Okay, does a 23 hit? Super hits. Whee! All right, I'm going to go ahead and... First, I'm just gonna roll my damage. Okay. Uh, I see a lot of bug fucking dice over there. You gonna fuck that bug? Yeah, I'm fuck trying that to fuck bug. that bug. Fuck that bug. Okay, that's gonna be a 18. 18, jeez, he's hurt. And then I'd like to use the charge on Rosaline. <gasps> Wait, oh no, the charge on Rosaline builds up. Okay. Oh. That's not, yeah. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Damn. All right. Well, I'm still going to fucking spores him. Yeah, okay. You spores him for another... Uh, you're not in fungal mode, so just another six? Just another six, okay, yeah. You spit spores at him. 
I'm so magical. Don't do that to me. This is disgusting. <laughs> it's this web. It's beautiful. I don't know why I thought you wouldn't have an accent, but obviously right, you have I an accent. I have been in the north. Why would I not? <laughs> you sound like a Dracula. Like a French flair yes, to it. I have a little bit of a French, French flair. <laughs> I spent the, and you hear Bastion up. I have lots of French friends. Aha, uh-huh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool, man. Franco-Russian. Yeah, that is b- 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 Balnor's turn. No one can see this, uh, but up top, uh, Bastion is like moving around a lot in the bag, trying to steal shit and everything. And Balnor is so diligently like poking at him with a stick. <laughs> hey, hey, stay back there. We sit in the bag. Respect the bag. Respect the bag, buddy. The silent. Don't make me. Bag. Do not make me get in that bag. Are you gonna make me get in that bag? Balnor starts getting in the bag. Oh my god! Oh, we get. also need a T-shirt of that. Balnor respect saying, the "Respect bag. the bag." Respect the bag. Uh, <laughs> the unsung hero. That is back up to the spider's turn. So as a bonus action, uh, this thing goes invisible again. Uh, hard one. You don't see it. It suddenly disappears. You guys in the web do see it, however. And hard one doesn't see this, but you guys see it. Guys, the spider's gone. Some purple webbing. <laughs> At hard one, 27 to hit. That's going to hit. Yeah. Hard one, you are wrapped in this magic web, and you fall back down uh, into the web, completely restrained. Uh, let's do another roll to see if the web holds. One through five. Do that web hold. You want me to do it? Do it this time, yeah. Four. Uh, four. Oh. I shouldn't have done this. Hard one is wrapped up in the web falls backwards into the partially destroyed web Legs too and thick. falls through. You see hard one just plummets. He's got the ring though, right? The You're wearing the ring? Yeah. You slowly, slowly pump it down the tunnel and another, I'm going to do another uh, I'm sure it's fine. I'm going to do another D100. 100 feet down, hard one slowly falls down and gets caught in another web. And you're just a fucking, you're in like a web cocoon inside another web, 100 feet down. I'm uh, good. You Moon, okay? Moonshine and Bev, give me deck saving throws to not fall. Are we close enough? I'll say, that... Bev, Bev, you can do it with advantage because you're stuck in it. Okay. Ooh. Well, even without Bev's aura, I get a 19. Okay. I got uh, 17. Moonshine, you hang on. Uh, the web is now, like, fully destroyed. Uh, Bev, you're just, like, hanging on. Like, uh, you're basically just stuck to the wall, and the rest of the web is gone, and Moonshine's just hanging on. Uh, that is Bev's turn. Okay, cool. Do I have, like, a hand free? Yeah, you have a hand free. Cool. Um, spider's invisible again. Spider is invisible again. Boy, can we yes. see it? Because we're... You can see it because you're in the web. Yeah, yes. all right. Um, am I close enough to slash at it with my sword? Yes, you're going to... While stu- You can either... I'll give you the same choice uh, I gave hard one. You can either climb out of the web, um, or you can roll with disadvantage on your attack. I'll roll with disadvantage on my attack. Okay. I got to get this done. Yeah, you actually have to roll with disadvantage anyway, because yep. it's invisible if you, didn't, if you can't see him. Oh, boy. 19. Let's hope you have to Super use hits. the 19. Now I get to do a 20. 13. Uh, plus my attack, which yeah, is 8. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You'll hit. All right, Go cool. Um, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do the branding smite. Sweet. Yeah. Uh, the way that works is next time you hit a creature with a weapon attack before the spell ends, the weapon gleams with astral radiance as you strike. The attack deals an extra 2d6 radiant damage to the target, which becomes visible if it's invisible. Sweet. And the target Ooh. sheds dim light in a five foot radius and can't become invisible until the spell ends. Okay. All right, cool. Yeah. Uh, so Both do your damage and I'll roll. What, what kind of saving throw was it? Uh, I don't think it. I don't, I don't think there's a saving throw. Oh, sweet. Yeah, no, it just works. Yeah. Dope. <laughs> it just works. Yeah, as long as the attack hits, it works. <laughs> it's like Apple technology. Q <laughs> ad. <laughs> Hi, have you heard of Apple? They're great. They make apps and all sorts of fun stuff. They make a little square that you can load Twitter on and feel sad every once in a while. Um, okay, that's going to be 14 damage. And then I do 2d6, I believe. Sweet. This dude is looking very hurt. I'm glad. Yeah, I hope that I just get to kill him, but that he is visible when I kill him. So 11 uh, plus 14. So Jesus. 25. Uh, Beverly, finish him. Woo! Yes. Oh. <laughs> All right. Oh, man. This is so great. So as I slash at him with my sword, um, I see the astral form of Pelor holding a giant bottle of raid. <laughs> I yeah. slash through and a misting arc of spider poison blast out alongside my arc. Uh, and just tears this fucker up. Amazing. The bug is fucked. The bug 
explodes. As magical as he was in life, uh, <laughs> he is just a big gooey spider in death. Just <laughs> explodes everywhere, purple goo. Um, hard one, you are covered in purple goo below. You're 100 feet down, just covered in uh, webs. Probably terrified. Bev, kill me next. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, buddy, I'm coming. Uh, can I try and lower myself down? To hard one or like sure. throw him a rope hard one while you're down there you can smell burning coal a little bit like a little bit of like sweet meat not not sweet meat just okay. like like you smell like a fire below you a little bit interesting mm. very interesting hey I'm gonna pull you up nothing interesting <laughs> nothing interesting down there right uh, I, I, I whisper this a little bit <laughs> I think there's somebody cooking something or burning some coal down here. You're just a hundred feet away in this tunnel. It's just echoing so loud. Cooking what? It smells like coal. It hey, you like... guys don't have to whisper. I can hear you up here. It's loud. Oh, yeah. It's really echoey. Right. Should we try and investigate? You guys want to come down here? Maybe. Uh, I guess hmm. can we belay using some of this webbing? Yeah. I'm wondering if I can like drop something to see if like there's a floor. Uh, hard one would need to do that because oh, he's yeah. farther down. You, otherwise, it'll just get caught in hard one's web. Or oh yeah, just, true. Like, hit hard one in the head. I guess I'll just uh, spit at it. Mm-mm. Okay, you just turn. You're still like all cocooned up. You turn around. I and spit some goo out of my mouth. You spit some goo out of your mouth. Um, after a long time, um, you hear what sounds like some water or saliva hitting the ground. All right, all checks out. Cool. So up uh, or down, huh? Yeah, Balnor um, lets Bastion out of the bag, pats him down. <laughs> uh, yeah, Balnor, ask, check ask under the folds. <laughs> uh, hey, oh, he's got the book. Of course, uh, he was going to write his name. Insane. Uh, what? Ask him about the, uh, there's a uh, there's coal no way. The what? Uh, <laughs> he just got his head, like, hanging up. <laughs> I love that hard one just casually, not, just probably, like, a little cozy. Like, yeah, at first, yeah. completely terrified, and now just in a big sleeping it's like bag. Like a nice. blanket. I might catch some, some shit I hear. Uh, who's burning coal down here? Coal? Yeah. Oh, fire giants, maybe? Oh, yeah. Uh, sure. That would uh, track, yeah. Okay, so uh, up, up, uh, up, 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 up. Uh, can I, like rappel down a little bit to try and help hard one out. Cool, so you guys all have like 50 feet of rope. You tie all your ropes together. Balnor puts it around himself and starts coaching Bastion to help him. Come on, bud. All right, put your legs into it. Take a wide stance. Take a wide stance. Uh, he ties it around Bastion, uh, and he hangs on, uh, and he lowers 50 feet down, uh, and he goes, all right, tie yourself off, Bev, if you're going to rappel. Okay. All right, I, I tie myself up. All right, belay on. I do a tug. Uh, uh, is that belay on? Is that what I say? On belay. All right, belay on. Here we go. <laughs> I, I kind of like jump across. Well, I guess I jump down, and then I want to kind of like slash across to get over to where hard one is. Sweet. Okay. Uh, yeah, Bev, you belay down. I think you're also going to need to use another 50 feet of rope, yeah. which is fine. You guys have um, plenty. You guys have been adventurers for a long time. Um, so, Bev, you continue to belay down. Uh, you, like, kick off uh, and slash at uh, Hard One's webs. Hard One, you are free, um, but still laying in this uh, sticky web. Yes, and I'm uh, very hurt. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, oh, yeah, obviously. I touch hands on Okay. Oh, sweet. Nice. What, you, what are you at now? Uh, how does touch hands work? I get to roll. It's, no, it's uh, uh, whatever from your pool. Of yes. Oh, oh, my gotcha. pool is. I'm at 27. What do I get? 40. Uh, so you're at 27. Let me give you. Do you want 20? Sure. You want half of that? Yeah. All right, cool. Yeah, and then why don't I cure wounds you? Just mm. like a first. You gotta I, touch I him. Like... I'm coming for you, Moon. All right. Yeah, okay. So Moonshine, are you I'm gonna? Ready co- are you gonna? I'm gonna say uh, somebody might want to help Balnor and Bastion. Balnor is super strong. Bastion should be strong, but he's a coward. So yeah, Moonshine, yeah. you might want to get up there with your uh, barbarian strength. Yeah, mm. yeah. I was gonna say I have it. I still have advantage on uh, strength right now because I'm raging. Okay. Uh, so Dope. Moonshine, you take some time. I won't even make you make an athletics check because you're out of combat. You guys would just keep falling back into the webs, and there's no point in that because you're safe um, because you killed the spider. Uh, so Moonshine, uh, you start uh, climbing up the rocks. You get to the top. You join Bastion and Balnor holding the ropes. Bev is belayed down. Uh, he touch hands his hard one, frees him from the web. For old time's sake, can I grab one of the fangs from the spider? <laughs> yes, you can. <laughs> and can I actually yeah. just be pulled up uh, kind of like, you know, uh, 
a rescue at sea into a helicopter. Yeah, yeah, I just want to be pulled up in my cocoon. Yeah, so <laughs> Beth has already slashed you free, but you wrap, you roll around and wrap no, yourself no, no, up no, in more web. <laughs> I'm so warm. Uh, yeah. And uh, so I, I give you a space blanket. <laughs> you're you're brought up to the top, and as soon as you get up there, Balnor puts a foil blanket around you. Balnor, get him some hot cocoa. Oh, all right. Yeah. It was I, beautiful, Balnor. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we're losing he has him. so much. He has so much like instant hot coffee. He's like Wait. blowing on a cold, on cold water and pouring mix in it. Is he also <laughs> still poisoned? No, he's not. He's okay, not poisoned. Cool. It's just poison damage. Great. Mm. Uh, cool. So you guys, you guys are on the, still on the wrong side of this hole. All right. Great. Back into the regular plan. I run and jump over <laughs> okay. with Bastion in a bag. <laughs> you run and success. You push Bastion back into the bag after he helps you. Uh, and uh, you jump on the other side of the hole. Uh, you guys have already solved the puzzle. You guys all yeah. jump over. People I do. with 19 strength. I, do, I still do my thorn whip, though. Just real oh, visual. Well, yeah. yeah. I confiscate all the pins from the bag. So, oh, okay. <laughs> so that Bastion can't write his name in the book. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Uh, don't they get pen out right on my finger, man? Whatever. You can't write. Yeah, you're right. Or leave <laughs> leave one in there, but empty the ink. So oh, he just yeah. keeps trying to use it. Kind of nice. like a punishment. Yeah, yeah. Like a dog chasing his tail. Yeah. <laughs> um, I guess I missed you step across. Because I only have 19. No, 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 but you can jump, and then I'll thorn whip you oh, 10 yeah, okay. feet yeah, towards me. Yeah, yeah, that's me. fine. Great, okay, cool. So, yeah, Moonshine is freaking Simon Belmont over here, just, like, <laughs> whipping at people. Ow! <laughs> You're just ca- uh, ba- good. Balnor, Balnor clears it, but in, like, real dad style, he just, like, ho, 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 and his heavy armor is just, like, clanking, running across the ground. <laughs> jumps like beautiful form but then he lands in such a wide stance it just like bangs into the ground oh. it starts to tilt back but then writes himself faces all red with concentration he just goes huh yeah. way to go Balnor wow yeah. yeah did you roll your ankle yeah I did <laughs> uh, but you guys you guys all make it to all the right side. cool I free Bastion Bastion uh, Bastion Pat him down again. Take everything. Yeah, yeah. Stole, <laughs> stole Jesus everything. Christ, man! What? I'm always Gift. gonna pat you down. You put me in the bag. You put me in the bag. I take the thing that's yeah. in the bag. What did we expect? This is my house. You want to make it my house? <laughs> that is my house. Oh, you've got the book clenched between your butt cheeks. Yeah. Come on, get it out. Yeah, I don't. Go ahead. Oh, it's it's shardy. Yeah, uh-huh. sorry. <gasps> I don't wipe. All right, which way do we <laughs> go? Dutch shovens the bag. Again. You yeah. should. You should wipe. I didn't mean to. Balance. Here, I'm like, gonna give. This is a. I don't want him. I don't want this. I don't out. want this clown back in the bag. <laughs> <laughs> I understand. This is hurtful. <laughs> this. This is hard to watch. I give him one I, more handkerchief and say, "This is your last one. Right. You wipe, <laughs> wipe right now." He takes it, he eats it, he wipes his mouth, <laughs> and uh-uh. swallows it <laughs> everywhere. So we, we make him wipe his ass under the threat of death. <laughs> <laughs> he, yeah. We all draw our weapons. <laughs> <laughs> wipe until it comes clean. All right, that's wipe fine. until you see only blood. I, you sick son of a bitch. Only because I want to. <laughs> <laughs> he takes a long time and he wipes standing up. <laughs> I brush his teeth. See, it seems strange to him, like he's never done it before yeah you can tell he's just doing like a real superficial job like he's like a little kid he thinks like the butt cheeks are yeah. the thing you clean <laughs> i was cursory like at best it's just the uh, the whole crack you just clean <laughs> on the outside i All brush right. his teeth like you brush a dog's teeth it's <laughs> uh, resisting the whole time good job balnor gives him a snack <laughs> All right, now be nice to the bag. I'm going to air it out if it, that's cool with everyone. Yeah, turn Absolutely. it inside yeah. out. Yeah. <laughs> he does, like, garbage disposal. Like, he squeezes a lemon in there, <laughs> shakes it up, <laughs> just opens it up. All right, got to air out the bag. Ooh, Take good citrus. Care of this. Moonshine, give him a little rosemary to put in there. Yeah, yeah, I She's muddle some glasses. herbs. Oh, this is good. This <laughs> is real say, good. Yeah, this is nice. That's primo bag. Yeah, I take lot. out one of those little, like, car air fresheners. <laughs> you put Try it in there. that. Oh, it's a little mushroom? Yeah, a little mushroom uh it smells pressure. like it begins to smell like cooked mushrooms. In, oh, uh, yeah. in the that nice. sounds good. Rare, <laughs> yeah. We all go in the bag. Comes out. I crack the duct tape and let Pawpaw come out. <laughs> <laughs> Just like insanely sweaty, <laughs> hair so matted. <laughs> <laughs> I can feel you sweating in there, but I'm telling you, Papa, I I felt you I felt you clawing at the bib, but I, it wasn't safe for you to come out. <laughs> He's not even mad. He's just like insane <laughs> from being all sweaty and, and uh, heated up. Good boy. Uh, I so, put I squeeze some lemon into my bib because mm-hmm. it's getting a little stinky. He just eats the whole thing and then <laughs> just like keeps uh, sticking his uh, tongue out because of the bitterness. 
Uh, cool. So Bastion finishes wiping. All right, uh, that was eventful. <laughs> Shall we keep going? Or no one saw that. Yeah, we all saw it. So and we're what? proud of you. Hey, yeah. thanks, man. Hey, give Ben back his handkerchief. No. <laughs> I toss you him in the what? hole. <laughs> <laughs> You're a fire giant below. What the fuck is this? <laughs> Enjoy. Oh, it smells so bad. <laughs> I smell it over all the burning coal. Guess you could light a match. <laughs> oh, fuck. Fuck me, man. <laughs> I'm going to take a look at... Uh, Bastion's ass. Just kidding, Bev. Yeah. And ba- you have uh, Bastion is standing right next to Bev uh, as you're like going in your trance, getting the healing power. Cool. So I don't know what and you he's see doing that he it. didn't get in there nearly deep enough. I'm like swinging the amulet around, kind of like uh, acolytes at a Catholic church with the yeah. incense. So Bastion's brown eye is actually what cures. Me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so you are cured up for um, you can do half your hit dice in your con modifier sweet uh, anybody else want to heal up or anything uh, no I'm going to save it cool so Bastion signals for you guys to follow him alright guys I mean I've taken you guys so far I feel like you know we've really become close in this time you know yeah, yeah. yeah. you guys getting to hang out with Holy Survivor pretty we, cool man. And, we, and we do not get attached easy yeah you know <sighs> You see he looks down, and he just looks up at you guys. Would it be crazy if you guys just didn't go, and we just kept hanging out? You know, oh, that's yeah, I mean, certainly well, something yeah. to consider. A, uh, well, let's make that game day decision You guys wouldn't there. even have to pay me stuff, man. We could be like pen pals? Yeah. We're going to be friends forever. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. That, that's no, like, no, you know what? no yeah. question. You know what it is? Is we're going to, well, on our way back, that's then, right. yeah. Like, yeah, we'll do what need, we need to do. We do like a place to <laughs> crash, man. Crash Absolutely. Yeah. We'll, we'll big chill every year. You have the coolest place. You've yeah, got, like, you really do. Your decoration mm-hmm. is top notch. Thanks, man. What's your favorite part? Uh, probably your one big bed. Yeah. Oh, thanks. Yeah, yeah I like your really the, the thrushes. The uh-huh. thrushes are really yeah. tasteful. It I makes like, it very cozy. Cool. I like your totally real hammer. That's real. Oh, thanks, man. Yeah, King's hammer, very strong. <laughs> so cool, made by what the gods. Guys, what's your favorite part about like my personality? <laughs> <laughs> I. Oh, gotta geez. be your clean asshole. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's I mean, a that's new really look. A personality physical, thing, but, but yeah, it's still <laughs> kind of physical. But can we, can we queer eye him real quick? <laughs> Sweet, yeah. Uh, yeah, you fix up. Uh, you fix up his hair. Uh-huh. Um, but more importantly, fix up his life. Yeah, yeah. It's more about an yeah. attitude adjustment. Yeah, you I want to be the. I want to be yeah, the guy that talks to you coach. about the community. You guys take three days. Uh, <laughs> Shirog smashes the gash. The world ends. Uh, I'm, but Bastion I'm, looks good. Bastion's I'm Anthony, got... so I teach him how to make a uh, guacamole from uh, sticks and rocks. Absolutely, you <laughs> know he's that... the most useless one. <laughs> you know that Bev is showing him how to get a real nice French tuck. <laughs> right, so uh, Bastion now has like a side part, uh, <laughs> and uh, has tucked in his um, weird robe and he into knows how some to... like pajama pants. Great, nice. And he knows how to make a very complicated grapefruit margarita. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna do this on my own. I can tell after you guys leave, I'm gonna do this. Yeah. Can we do a confessional with yeah. uh, the, the other Knowles? <laughs> I don't even believe his same guy. <laughs> hey everybody, it's Emily here to talk to you about Aura Frames. Mother's Day is coming up and some of us are looking for a way to shower the maternal figures in our life with love. Well... Look no further. Aura frames are the digital picture frames that bring all your photos and videos together in one gorgeous, high-resolution display. They're super easy to set up. They save you from the struggle of printing and framing your favorite photos, but most importantly, they help you stay connected with family that live far away. That's because you can kind of preload a bunch of pictures onto the frame, but you also get to keep adding pictures and you can invite the rest of your family to add pictures. The gifts you make mean the most. So this year, turn your family's past into the perfect Mother's Day present with a connected frame from Aura. Right now, Aura has a great deal for Mother's Day. Listeners can visit AuraFrames.com slash Papa to get up to $30 off on their best-selling frames. That's A-U-R-A frames.com slash P-A-W-P-A-W. Plus, listeners can get free shipping with code P-A-W-P-A-W at checkout. This deal ends on Mother's Day, May 14th, so don't wait. Terms and conditions apply. 
Goodbye, sweeties. Hey there, Nadpoles. This episode is brought to you by Rocket Money. Do you know how much your subscriptions really cost, folks? Well, most Americans think they spend around $80 a month on subscriptions, but the actual total is closer to around $200. Holy hell. If you don't know exactly how much you're spending every month, then you need Rocket Money. Rocket Money is a personal finance app that finds and cancels your unwanted subscriptions, monitors your spending, and helps you lower your bills all in one place. Over 80% of people have subscriptions that they forgot about, and chances are you're one of them. Like that Stars app just to watch that one show or that free gaming trial you never actually used. Well, Rocket Money will quickly and easily find your subscriptions for you. And for any you don't want to pay for anymore, just hit cancel and Rocket Money will cancel it for you. It's that easy. Rocket Money also helps you manage all your finances in one place and automatically categorizes your expenses so you can easily track your budget in real time and also get alerted if anything looks a little funky. Over 3 million people have used Rocket Money, saving the average person up to $720 a year. Wow. So stop throwing your money away, cancel unwanted subscriptions, and manage your expenses the easy way by going to Rocket rocketmoney.com slash pawpaw that is rocketmoney.com slash pawpaw one more time for you rocketmoney.com slash pawpaw thank you cool so as you guys continue to travel uh no knolls very eerily quiet as you guys continue to travel and then finally you see the light at the end of the tunnel Ooh. Uh, but when you get to it, when you follow the end of the tunnel, uh, you see that you're not outside. You're in this giant natural cave full of glowing crystals and oh, geodes. Yes. It's eerily beautiful. Uh, above you, the ceiling goes so high you can't see the top. Uh, below you, to the sides, is just a big pit of nothingness. Uh, though you do see the glow of like the purple and white and blue rocks. Uh, there's a bridge built out of these glowing stones. It's crude, uh, but it's wide, about 15 feet, uh, and it juts up at certain parts. It's a little inelegant, as pretty as it looks. Uh, it leads to the other side of the room, where on the rock wall you see kind of big rock handholds that you can climb to a fissure in the stone, uh, and you can see daylight coming through that. Uh, yeah. You can see just a little bit of daylight crackling through there. Uh, the bridge is about 200 feet across, and there is another similar bridge uh, built higher in the cave, about 30 feet above you guys. What is that bridge connecting? That bridge connects to another tunnel up there, and you're not oh, sure where it goes. Okay, interesting. I mean, this room is great. Should we just tarry here? <laughs> Should yeah. we just live here? Let's dawdle for a bit. Yeah, it is gorgeous. <laughs> we definitely take it in. This, we mean, drink this, it in. This place kind of sucks, right, guys? I think I do. I love like, a dank tunnel. You can't yeah. even smell anything in here. Your I think place I, is way cooler. <laughs> I do and like thanks. um the twirl of a girl in like a Christmas rom com, <laughs> <laughs> just like on the first snow of the year. Or like in a big hotel room by yourself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, can I just do like a perception check of any sort? Yeah, go for it. Mm, that's a nine. Nine. Um, yeah, you can see the little fissure up ahead. Uh, it looks like the bridge has been, you know, quasi well traveled. Mm -hmm. It looks like it has integrity. Okay, so it's not a gash, it's just a fissure. It's just a fit, but it's like, it's pretty big. Okay. It's it's a gash. Sure. <laughs> I want to also do a perception check. Okay. We're all perceiving. 18. 18. Um, Moonshine, you see a little bit of movement on the bridge above you. You see like a hand of a knoll. We got company. <laughs> Bastion, who's up there? Who's up where? Up on the bridge above us. Why would there be people on the bridge above us? Bastion? a knoll's hand. What does that bridge up there connect? It goes to other tunnels in the... Was so, there a shortcut this whole time that we could have taken? I mean, I'm, there are lots of ways to go through tunnels. We're this about to get ambushed. That's what's about to happen. Bastion, after we showed you how to do a French tuck and make the guacamole... I didn't do... This is the way that I walked through the tunnel. Uh, you see he starts to walk out on the bridge. 
Hey guys, it is the holy survivor. I oh, oh, that oh, was oh, shot by oh. so many arrows of Knowles. So gross that boils just popping as those arrows. There is makeover. You guys look see. So oh yeah, good. we probably lanced those boils. Yeah, I think yeah, we left one. <laughs> Bastion oh. looks over at you guys full of arrows and he goes. I was living my best life at the end. <laughs> You'll always be my best friend. You're my Bastion. best friend, Bastion. <laughs> we just taught him how to moisturize. So happy. Uh, you see him fall off the bridge, and you see all of these other gnolls uh, are emerging on the bridge. You see there's about 20 up there. You see the dude with the war paint from before, Deep Rag, jumps down from the bridge just as the Iron Man jump onto the bridge. God. I seem by it again to deep. Oh, that is very interesting. I think Inoba will enjoy the rooty taste of you, sweet meats. We're not sweet. Oh. Y'all know mushroom ain't sweet. Uh, I yeah, very, I eat mushrooms all the time. A very I know. thick hide. Do you? You don't know anything about food. You're not know. cultured like our friend Bastion was. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you couldn't make guacamole or macaroni and cheese. <laughs> I'd love to see you make a bruschetta. I love how quickly you guys came around on Bastion. Uh, you see Deep Rag just spits over the edge. I don't care about what kind of things your stupid friend can make. I know plenty about food. I always feed my mother worm. And right now, it's feeding time. Suddenly, you guys feel trickles of blood. Coming down on you, raining down on you from the bridge above, and you hear a rumble from below. Everybody roll initiative. <laughs> oh man, don't get eaten. That'll be 20 for Moonshine. Wow. Moonshine would like to go on the record saying she has a bit of reverence for Yanoba. Sure, it's a big stinky worm that ruins the earth. <laughs> Isn't it a purple worm? Yes, it's a purple worm. You a saw it. You beautiful, saw it. Beautiful. I mean, that is sort of a, there's something, I don't know, there's something a little deathly. Yeah. About oh, purple. super death. You see Deep Rag looks at you. He's got the blood coming out of his eyes. Yeah, she gets it. She fucking gets it, <laughs> okay, man. Okay, I'm not on your side. Yeah, you're on my I'm side. I'm not on your side. You're a big Rudy snack. You, you <laughs> symbiotic <laughs> snack. Oh, right. I'm a huge mushroom yeah. right now. Yeah, I am a Rudy Snack. Uh, what did the other guys get? I got a 13. So did I. Hey. All right. How? What happens when it's a tie? You have higher decks, so you'll go first. Yep. Oh, cool. I so, thought I was going to have to arm wrestle Caldwell. No, I lose. Okay. <laughs> okay, guys. So right off the bat, somebody roll me a D4. That's how many rounds it's going to take before Yanoba shows up. That's going to be a four, bitch. Oh, oh my you know, God. Yanoba's late as hell. I Stay felt it. Ground. I like, do you notice how I was like, I think I'm going to be able to nail this one. Yeah. And I just fucking went for it. Uh, so you hear the rumbling of Yanoba a little further away than I would have liked, yeah. personally. <laughs> I feel like she's ghosting you guys. Let, no. <laughs> she's coming. Hashtag, be, where's the worm? She'll be here any second. Moon I'm time. just saying, if I was seeing someone and it took them four rounds to come over, <laughs> yeah. I might start to wander. Start exploring your other options. Moon you know? <laughs> your turn. So you are on this rock bridge 200 feet across, 15 feet wide, standing across from Deep Rag, who holds a flail made of flaming humanoid skulls. 30 feet above you are about 20 gnolls who just shot Bastion. Moonshine, you act first. I think I'm going to start bringing some of them down. Yeah. Because I don't like that they have this distance on us. Cool. So I'm going to thorn whip up one of the guys Shit. Okay. to try and bring them down to us. You can throw them into the abyss if you catch one. I mean, yeah. 10 feet of that Fuck arc? Yeah. You can hit an arc. Oh, yeah. Fuck yeah. Okay, that's what I'm trying to do. Okay, cool. Uh, so you've got about 20 guys up there. They've just killed Bastion. I'm sure you're very upset. All right, do Bastion. A quick abyss kiss. Okay. Kiss the abyss. You hear uh, <laughs> deep within the abyss, avenge me. <laughs> you got it, friend. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay, so. Still falling, Jesus I Christ. I am attacking. <laughs> Oh, that's going to be good. Um, does a 22 hit? You hit. You whoops, swing your thorn whip, wrap it around a random Noel's ankle, then fling him off the bridge, swinging him into the abyss. I want to no look at... No heights. We hate heights. <laughs> I want to look at Deep Rag and be like, see the vines? They're like my babies, and they do what I tell them. Ooh, I like you, Rudy. 
Rooty vegetable. Good <laughs> side dish for your no bar. Is it weird? I'm like kind of into what you and I. It is, it's to me. riddled with sexual <laughs> tension you. here. Balnor, cover your ears. I what? never thought I'd Does like being like, called Rudy. You, you don't think she likes it, do you? <laughs> uh, they are definitely flirting, <laughs> bro. I feel like I could cut cut this tension with a knife. Do you want to do anything else? I was just uh, that's a cantrip. So if you have a bonus action spell, okay. And then with my reaction, I'm gonna spores. Uh, I'm gonna spores deep brag for He's twelve. He's still turned on. But I'm gonna do. <laughs> in kind nasty. of a hot way. <laughs> you nasty girl. Good. I'm just trying to work Balnor up so he starts crazy. Oh, I'm mad. I'm real mad. Hey, Balnor, then, I, think that, yeah. I think this mushroom salad needs a little tuna. Uh, so my so. my reaction is sporzing him in kind of like a flirtatious way, and then I'm going to bonus action go into rage. Sweet. So yeah. that, But that's also 12 for him. Yes, yes, okay. yes. He takes 12 damage. Uh, is turned on by it because <laughs> honestly, he's a freak. He a freak. Uh, we encounter a lot of is, freaks. Uh, from above on the bridge, that is going to be the Knoll Pack Lord's turn. You see four beefy boys jump down. They've got glaives, these big rusty swords, and they are going to rush down the bridge towards you guys. Two of them will go after Moonshine, and one will go after each one of you guys. They'll take a little bit of damage on the fall, uh, and then they will attack. The first guy takes two swings at Moonshine and misses. Moonshine, you're in full rage. Block it with a, a, a Rudy glaive? block. A glaive? Is this going to mean bleeding damage and shit? It is not. That's 3.5, okay. I think. Uh, other guy takes two attacks, fucking misses. Uh, <laughs> beefy boys are not rolling well. Uh, one guy can't goes the after a hard one, is going to hit... With one attack for eight damage. Come on, make those. Ow! Other guy makes two attacks against <laughs> Bev and hits and crits. Oh, hits and crits? Sorry. Hits, hits and crits. crits. Uh, so eleven damage on the first hit. That's the name of your um, that's the name <laughs> of your album, Hits and Crits. <laughs> thirteen damage on the crit. Thirteen total? No, 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 no. Eleven damage on the first hit, thirteen damage on the crit. Oh, 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 cumulative. So yes. Need Twenty four damage. Okay. That is the beefy boys. We are at hard one. I'm gonna throw my javelin at the guys who are left up on the on the bridge. Sweet. I'm gonna say, since you're like throwing it up, you're not gonna have like a direct line unless you throw it completely perfectly. I'm gonna roll a D4, see how many guys you could possibly hit. Four. I rolled a four. Okay. So you could possibly hit four. Let's see if I can hit with them. The, with the lightning damage. Sweet, here it goes. Kabob him. 15. 15 just hits. Oh. Ah, uh, so yes. roll roll javelin damage on that guy, and then four guys will get hit by the lightning. Cool. Watch a bastard call lightning. <laughs> so that's 10. Oh, wait, 11. Shit. Okay. Can I borrow uh, a bunch of D6s? Oh, yes. Gonna, I, think they I do. love I lending my die to the cause. I think, they, I think they do deck saves. They all fucking fail. Yes. 13 more damage. You toss the javelin at the bridge above you. There's an explosion of lightning as three of these dudes get singed and it hits the one in the back. So the guy that it hits dies and falls off the bridge. Hard one, I'm gonna give you a choice. You can either take a second attack or you can try and grab your javelin and save it before it falls. Can I just grab the javelin from him as he's falling past yes. me? Yes, 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 yes. You certainly can. All right, now I'm gonna take my, I'm gonna use my action surge then. Good, great. Cool. All uh, right, I'm gonna attack the beefy boy attacking me. Great. So beefy. I crit on the beef. Oh, Ooh. shit. I crit on the beef, dude. Ooh. I'm a beefy snack for you, Noba. You and I will be like cheese and cracker. I just uh -huh. feel like normally I- cheese and pepperoni. Yeah, I'm a big pepperoni. <laughs> like normally I really like this food theme, but it's just really grossing me yeah, out. Yeah, you, little sweet treat after. <laughs> oh, I think I'm- Little dinner mint, you, <laughs> for your Noba. Uh, 23 yeah. damage. Uh, he's definitely an Andy's he's quite man. Hurt. He's I'm like got a, a little chocolate. Yeah, too. maybe matcha flavored. Sweet. I'm gonna hit him again. Okay. Or try to, and I'm gonna miss that time. I imagine that's 14. 14 does not hit. Bye. That is going to be Bev's turn. Bev's turn. You got the beefy Red boys Bev. all up in your face. Mm -hmm. How many? How many uh, beefy gentlemen? There are four beefy gentlemen. Okay. There's um, one on you, two on Moonshine, one on Hard One that he just hurt. Am I gonna need? Am, am I gonna be able to sprint towards? Uh, not stunk rag, deep rag. Deep rag, yes. Uh, uh, without taking opportunity? No, you need to take one opportunity, the guy who's on you. All right, well, let me clear that guy off then. Great. Uh, cool. Um, yeah, let me just go ahead and... Searing smite. Okay, great. Cool. Uh, so I think you cast, yeah, you cast that before the attack. Now you attack and see mm -hmm. if you hit. 
Uh oh. Uh, that's going to be 13. Does 13 does not hit. All right. He blocks with his glaive. I have a glaive. It's a big sword. That's man. cool, glaive. I'm, I'm a fave of the glaive. Oh. <laughs> uh, does 15 hit? It does. It just hits. Woohoo. All right. Fuck. I shouldn't have worn rags. <laughs> <laughs> Um, all right, let's see. Uh, so that's going to be 14 damage. Great. Let me roll my fire damage, which is 1d6. Sweet. It's five Ooh. extra fire damage. Great. Cool. Uh, and then he's going to need to roll to see if he remains on fire next turn. Cool. He got a 15. What is the DC on Oh, it's 15. 15. Okay, he meets it. He does not stay on fire. Right. Oh, I want to be a toasty <laughs> snack for Inoba. You and I, we will be s'more. <laughs> you, tasty little piece of chocolate. Me. The graham crack. <laughs> oh, okay. Can I be the marshmallow? Wait, yeah. no, 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 no. This is the test kitchen from hell. <laughs> that is. <laughs> this is Bobby Glaive. That is. <laughs> that is Deep Rag's turn. Deep Rag is going to run forward with his crazy skull flail and make three attacks on three. Moonshine. I don't like uh, that. First huh? crack at Moonshine is a nat one. He yeah! misses big time. Oh, yes, just I'm so sorry, did your boner get in the way? Yes, I mean, I, <laughs> Honestly, I cannot help it. You I and I. I will say it's nice to have someone appreciate me in my mushroom form because this is who I really am, you know? Oh, it's okay. sort of like Shrek. But whenever I introduce it in the bedroom, it's like. M- Moonshine, can you please make him less horny? That big red dog dick is so disgusting. <laughs> no, 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 keep, uh, keep him going because it's getting Balnor mad and it's making him miss. <laughs> Okay, uh, he hits you, he misses you with his flail of madness, but hits you with his flail of pain. That is nine regular damage. All right, so uh, I only take half, because I'm in a rage. Okay, um, but then you're going to take... Do I take five or four when I take half? Do we'll I round, round up down or four. round down? And then you're going to take another 22 psychic damage. So Ooh. that's not Ooh. halved. Uh, and then he what? makes a third attack with his flail of paralysis. How many flails this motherfucker has? That's 25. He's got like three skulls oh, that three. are all smoking. And they yeah, hit. you know, you go to the grocery store, you have to get them all in a pack. I see. Uh, he that, hits me again? He hits you, uh, yeah, again. Okay, so that is 10 bludgeoning damage, so half to five. And then you need to make a DC constitution saving throw. Oh, that's good, though. Murph has found our one weakness, several enemies at once. <laughs> 19. 19. For a second, you feel frozen with fear. And then you realize you and this guy are kind of equals. Kind of this, again, <laughs> this tension, this this, this romance, this oh my God, electricity it's between so you two. It's so cute that you tried to scare me as if I haven't been up against some of the scariest shit y'all ever seen. Oh, great. It's a neg off. <laughs> uh, Balnor charges forward. Ah! <laughs> I'm so jealous. Uh, he atta- Oh my god, he crits. Yes! <laughs> 19 is a Balnor crit. Uh, he charges- Balnor the jealous. He, he charges forward at uh, Deep Rag. Uh, that is 13 damage on Balnor's first hit against Deep Rag. Second attack does not do it. He rolls a five. Uh, beefs it. Action surge. Balnor's going for it. Yeah, Balnor. Rolls a five again, misses. Crits again. Nice. Oh, Balnor. Wow. Bountiful. Matthias House of Crit is watching down on you, Balnor. I miss her. I crit. That I'm was a crit sandwich with emotional. two fives in the middle. It was. <laughs> 17 damage on his second hit. Deep uh, Rag looks slightly impressed. Oh, you are spicy, little old man. You, me, and the Ruthie lady, we settled down and start the family. <laughs> Okay, With yeah. With Yanoba. I'm open to non Moonshine, no. <laughs> Don't join his polycule. <laughs> uh, that is the purple worm's Honestly, turn. Honestly, polyamory is a beautiful thing. Down <laughs> you guys, the creek. that is the purple worm's turn. <laughs> oh, uh, You guys hear rumbling as it gets closer, <laughs> ever closer. Do we uh, hear it honking in traffic? Do you hear uh, beep, beep? <laughs> that is the Knoll's turn. On the Knoll's turn, 10 of them. Jump down. They're oh. all gonna take a little bit of damage. Can I take? Can they take like opportunity attacks? Like when you throw yourself a baseball up in the air? You know, like I just want to start swinging. <laughs> <laughs> so no, should, no like, prepare reaction next time. <laughs> so these guys jump down. There are ten guys who are jumping down. Let's deal with the first eight first. I'll say two of them go after each one of you guys. Great. This like fifteen foot bridge is really crowded. Uh, Bev, I'll do your two first. First guy misses. Second guy does hit for a big. Four damage. Ooh. A big four damage. Uh, two guys four. go after a hard one, misses on the first attack, hits on the second attack for seven damage. Moonshine misses. 
Misses. Next guy misses against Balnor once. Misses against Balnor twice. Uh, That's right. You then... can't touch Balnor when he's this pissed. Moonshine's already got a couple beefies on her, so these two remaining gnolls will go after... Be- will what go- if they went after Deep Rag? Would that be insane? <laughs> 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 one will go after Hard One, one will go after Bev. One who goes after Hard One misses. One who goes after Bev hits. Four. Four damage. Four more damage for Bev. Four more damage. Another then big Then there are eight up on the bridge above. Two shooting arrows at each of you. Uh, first one hits Moonshine. For six damage. So half that. So half to three. This Second is... one hits Moonshine. Four. Five damage. So two. Third one. Mrs. Bev. God, we should really all just take a barbarian level. What the hell? Next one, Mrs. Bev. I know. Next that's one I hits hard one for seven. Next one, Mrs. Hard One. Next one, Mrs. Balnor. Mrs. Balnor just pinging off of Balnor's armor. That is back around to Moonshine. Okay. One round has gone by. One round has gone it's by. It's too many guys. You've got two beefy boys on you. Um, I'm just gonna go after one of them. Okay, cool. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and guess that 20 hits. 20 hits. That's gonna be 18. He's pretty hurt. And He's pretty beefy though. I would like to halo of spores him for. Another 12. Another 12. He is on death's door. What? He's not dead? I'm ready to be a toasted graham cracker in the sky. <laughs> God damn it. For Yenoba. Feed my corpse to him, please. Her, please. Fucking sucks. Sorry. I wanted to turn him into a zombie. <laughs> Fucking sucks, man. Uh, Don't that, worry. There's a lot of guys. <laughs> that is the beefy boy's turn. Uh, the one that Moonshine just attacked is going to crack back at her. Uh, Miss. Oh, wait. Can I use my bonus action to look at Bev's amulet? Yes. Do it. Yeah. Okay. Other guy that's on you. He's gonna hit once, nine damage, half to four. Uh, then the other two guys each are gonna go after you guys. Guy on hard one hits once for 14 damage. Yes. Uh, other guy goes after Bev twice and hits once for six damage. Then these beefy boys are gonna use their skill uh, it's called Incite Rampage. Uh, so you see they lock eyes. Each one of the beefy boys lock eyes with one of the little weenie ones. Uh, and they all start uh, salivating. Oh, yeah, let's get horny for blood and killing people, right, guys? Yeah, yeah. They get super psyched. Uh, and each guy, four guys are going to take bite attacks against you Jesus guys. Sorry, Christ. are we doing food or blood horny? Which one is it, y'all? We're horny yeah. for everything. <laughs> Uh, one against each one of you, I'll say also Balnor. Uh, one on hard one misses, one on Moonshine hits. No! Five damage, so half to two. Uh, one on Just nasty Bev bit, misses, yeah. one on so gross. Now I got a little Balnor misses. From a little freak. That is hard one's turn. Great. I want to hit one of these freaks so bad. Yeah. What's a beefy guy or what? Uh, whoever's fucking close to me, they're all Wait, perverts. You've hurt you've hurt a beefy boy. Yeah, I wanna hurt I wanna I wanna kill that beefy boy. Chop him up. Let's make Noel stew. All right. Yeah, dude. That's a fucking four. <laughs> <laughs> that does not hit, believe it or not. Cool, I'm gonna take my second attack on Sweet. this motherfucker. Uh that one should hit. That's 17. 17 hits. Ten. Beefy's looking pretty messed up. Mm-hmm. A big chunk of that He's beefy tomato. Out. Yeah, that's all I got. I'm a big beef slice is of cheddar, too strong. man. It's like Midwest <laughs> beef. Uh, that's Bev's turn. Oh, all right, so Bev, you got this beef. beefy boy that you've hurt. I gotta keep whacking away at this beefy boy. You can whack. You can whack a beefy. Um, but while I do that, I do, I do want to shout to Deep Rag and say, I just want to let you know that mushrooms technically aren't roots. They are a fungus from the myconid family. So she looks pretty really to me, man. Actually, that's a really good point. You've been disrespecting my fungal form. Shut as up. As much as, you know, I was distracted by how good I'm it feels. I'm not attracted to you anymore. <laughs> We're done. Fine. I stopped being attracted. You and me are done. I was just fucking around anyway. What? You get one second of hurt. sass and you're just like, Yeah, Ow. she doesn't like <laughs> you. But... <laughs> All right. Uh, and I'm I was going just using to... it so you'd roll ones. I'm going to just do a normal attack. Great. Uh, on this guy. Ooh. Uh, yep, that's going to be 25 that to hits. hit. That. That's uh, three. Wait, no, ten. I'm going to do another attack on this beefy tomato. Great. All right, that's going to be 24. That hits. All right. That's going to be 11 damage. 
He's on death's door. Okay. Uh, and with my bonus action, I'm going to cast Shield of Faith on whoever is nearest to me. Great. Uh, uh, is that going to be hard? You guys are all kind of grouped together. I'm pretty together. fucked up. Yeah, I'll give it to Moonshine. Sweet. Extra two. To two. Moonshine. Yeah. yeah, I think it's two. Yep. Okay. okay. 19. That is Deep Rag's turn. Deep Rag rushes forward, makes three attacks on Moonshine. <sighs> uh, 19 AC now. First yeah. Flail of Madness. Misses. <laughs> flail of Pain. Duck. 24 to hit on Jeez. Flail of Pain. Mm, that's the one that hit last be, time. Yep. Uh, it's That's one of the better ones to hit because it's just damage kind of. Uh, so 15 halved. We'll say seven. Um, and then you are going to take some psychic damage. Where's he getting all these flails? 28 psychic damage. I'm down. Moonshine goes down. Fuck. Next attack goes against Balnor. Hits Balnor with the Flail of Paralysis. Don't get paralyzed, Balnor. That is, uh, ugh, try not to. That is 11 damage to Balnor. Uh, and then he's going to roll a Constitution saving throw. Balnor fails his Constitution saving throw. Balnor is hit by the skull. You see red energy go around him. He just has this aura and is just frozen in place. Look alive, Balnor. Uh, just try, trying to talk, but his mouth can't move. Uh, you froze our Balnor. That is Balnor's turn. Balnor does not go. That is the worm's turn. Uh, trembling in the earth. You hear it getting closer. That is the gnoll's turn. So there are still... Damn, all these gnolls do is take turns. Uh, yeah, there are still uh, 18 gnolls, <laughs> I yeah. think. Okay, so Balnor's frozen. So they're going to go five against hard one, five against Bev. Hard one. We can take it. <laughs> Hard one sprints back into the cave. <laughs> I mean, I would encourage you to bring me back to life, but... Uh, Hard one first, knows what he needs to do. First to attack. Hard one hits you for seven. Okay. One one guy hits you for seven. Next guy misses. Next guy hits for four. Last guy hits for seven. Okay. Uh, five guys go after Bev. Uh, first two guys miss. One guy crits. Mm. Ten damage, Bev. Last two guys, one guy hits. Six damage. Six six more damage? Yep. That is the gnolls who can shoot bows. Start shooting down on you guys. Uh, there are eight of those guys up there. They're going to take uh, four shots each. Two guys hit hard one. Eight. 18 damage. Okay. Other two guys go miss. Last guy goes, rolls a one, misses big time. You see it arcs. It goes off into the abyss and hits Bastion one time. Oh. Oh. <laughs> uh, Don't shoot my friend while he's falling into the abyss, you <laughs> son of a bitch. I think I accidentally shot you five times, so I'm going to go. Uh, so Bev only gets hit with three, which is great. Woohoo. Uh, misses once, misses twice, hits once on Bev. Eight damage to Bev. Oh, boy. That is back around to Moonshine. Moonshine, go ahead and give me a death saving throw. Five. That is one failure for Moonshine. Moonshine begins Shit. choking up blood. No, that, I do something cooler. You do something choking cool. up shrimps, yeah. soil. Yeah, yeah, yeah I choke up soil. Choking up soil. The beefy boys. My body boys. is immediately becoming one with the earth. Uh, not yet, Moonshine. <laughs> that is the beefy boys' turn. The ones who were on Moonshine. You know what? Balnor is paralyzed, but that doesn't mean he's out of the fight. So these two that were on Moonshine are going to switch to Balnor and beat him while he's hurt. Cowards. One guy actually totally misses. The other guy only hits once, um, but hits him for 10. Balnor's looking okay. He hasn't been hit nearly as much as Moonshine. Uh, then the other two beefies go. You guys got one on each of you. Hard one misses. Uh, first attack misses second attack, Bev. Misses first attack. Misses second attack, rolls a one. That is Hard One's turn. All right, um, so can I do anything to save Moonshine, or do we need to? I don't, unless do you have, you have a, a I don't think you have a potion. potion. I'm gonna try you to kill focus people. On, yeah, yeah, you um, got you got one guy in front of you that is looking like pretty close to death's door. Okay, I'm gonna you try got to luck points. You gotta like you gotta hit yeah, these guys. I'm gonna try to kill this guy. Yeah. Shout out to the fucking two crew. I guess I'm, I'm gonna use a luck point. It's definitely it's definitely at luck point. Yeah, <laughs> I was saving it for Yanoba, but let's let's do it now. That's twenty two. 22 hits. Rerolling the one. Oh boy. Um, 12 damage. 12 damage. Uh, he's on death's door. 
and they're all just sitting at the door. Why don't you open go the into damn the door? House? Yeah, seriously, if all of you are gonna congregate at the door, it's at least rude. Carol. It's 17. not Halloween. Seventeen <laughs> hits. Yeah. I have no figgy pudding for you, Knowles. <laughs> Thirteen damage. Thirteen damage. You fully kill this one guy, and I'll say you guys are all packed in close enough that uh, you do another ten damage to the guy Please. who's on Bev. Great. Uh, you guys. Can I uh, look at Bev's amulet as a bonus? As a bonus action, action yes. That's a good idea. All right, but cleave it. Uh, Bev, that's your turn. All righty. Um, I am rushing over to Moonshine cool. to touch hands her. You're going to take one opportunity attack. Give it to me. He misses. Yeah. Oh, spin move. So worth it. <laughs> <laughs> I do that. I you know what I, I do? Hope you did like a fake like no, no, a no. basketball player. He's, he uh, swipes with uh, his glaive, and then I like get down on my knees and slide under the glaive with nice. my hands out. And then I slap both of my hands right on Moonshine's breast, and then I take them off for a moment, and then I put them back on. <laughs> so sorry. Uh, what it's all right. I'm giving her. I should save some. I'll give you 15. Ooh, thank you. Lay hands. Yeah. Okay. Power of Pelor compels you. Uh, Moonshine, you pop back up with 15. Uh, Bev, you still have a bonus action or something if you want to use it? I'll just go ahead and cast uh, Shield of Faith on Hard One. Okay, great. Ooh, yeah. Shield of Faith comes back. Uh, Thanks, Bev's, Bev. Bev's glittering face uh, comes up over Hard One. Oh! <laughs> God damn it, I love Get you, kid. Get the freak away! So now you have two more AC. Nice. Uh, that puts me at 21. That's a lot. Nice. Yeah. Uh, then, oh yeah, you got that rock skin. Yeah, you got that a long time ago. Moonshine pops back up. <gasps> that is Deep Rag's turn. Deep Rag is going to go after Bev. You brought the back. My love, we have sort of an on again, off again thing. <laughs> Stay the heck away from this friendship salad, you nasty slice of beef. Uh, he, he misses, he gets frazzled. I'm not yeah. a nasty slice of beef. You're a nasty slice of beef. You're a little sweet, sweet meat. I'm uh, a, I'm a matcha flavored mint. Misses a second time. Is gonna hit with par the paralyzing one. So you're gonna do a constitution. Not sin. again. So first off, uh, you take you're gonna take seven bludgeoning damage. Okay. So take seven bludgeoning damage, oh and then go ahead and give me a Constitution saving throw. Balnor does release from the uh, oh nice from his spell though. Good to have you back, buddy. Right. Uh, Constitution. Thanks. This is bad. <laughs> Constitution. Constitution saving. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that's gonna be six plus four, uh, which is ten plus my extra four, so fourteen. Does not do it, ah! Bev. Red aura goes around you, and you are frozen. This is not my place. color. That is Balnor's turn. Balnor's free. Balnor is going to, you know what? What is Balnor going to do? Okay, Shit, I should have looked had, at my amulet. He had a couple beefy boys uh, run up on him. He has the one that was with Moonshine that was pretty hurt. He's going to go after that one. Balnor hits on that one. Balnor cuts one of the beefy boys down. Does he cleave into another? Uh, he does not. He did just enough to hit him. Uh, Balnor is going to take a second attack, though, and he crits. Yes, Balnor. Yes. Okay. Uh, Balnor does 12 damage to this other guy. That is the worm's turn. Gets ever closer. This is worm his third turn. round moving. I'm starting to think, bring it on with this worm. <laughs> it's true. Uh, that is the Knoll's turn. The worm could clean house a little bit. Yeah. Could be like the dynamite and kid picks. That's true. Okay, so there are... Eight guys up top still have bows. Two of them uh, to each of you guys. Uh, Moonshine, I think you go out of your rage when you go down, and I think you lose him by the against when you go down. Heck, y'all. Okay, so uh, two on hard one. Misses first one. I believe even with a 19, they miss because of Shield of Faith. That's right. Miss twice. I uh, wink it, Bev. Next. Moonshine. The shield face winks back. <laughs> um, one guy hits you, Moonshine. Are you fucking kidding me? For only four damage. Okay. Uh, you up? You still up? I'm still two up. Two more. Go after Bev. Uh, 17 hit does not hit, or does it? 17? Uh, no way, baby. Nice. Please. And okay. I'm 19 plus shield of arrow catching. Fuck, I've not been using shield <gasps> of arrow catching this whole time, god damn You it. gotta remember <laughs> that shit, man. Okay, right. so you got 21 AC, so this yep. second guy misses. Good to remember now, yep. it's good. Uh -huh. It's a good thing to have. I think I just, for the story, I had it on my back and I was like, <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Next guy misses Balnor with one attack. Guy after that misses Balnor with a second arrow. Uh, then there are still 10 guys down here with you guys. Jesus uh, Christ. We're gonna go two per person. Hey, um, 10 future friends, I'd say. <laughs> <laughs> Just salivating at the Let mouth. Let me get that for you. Two after hard one. One guy crits. God, I, I 13 know. 13 damage to okay. hard one. Uh, next two guys go after moonshine. 
Both misses. Next two guys go after Bev. Both misses. Woo! That was insane. I rolled a one and a four, and then a one and a four. They missed me even though I'm paralyzed? Good question. Wait, no, no, they missed me. Oh, whoa. No, it just says you're paralyzed to your next turn. Okay, I don't cool. know. Ba -ba. Attack rolls against a creature have advantage. have advantage. They do, so they're gonna attack again. You're welcome, father. Thanks, we do have homework. Uh, <laughs> seven damage from one of the guys, the other guy still misses. You're still, you're still an armored little guy. Uh, other guy goes after Balnor. One guy does hit Balnor for seven damage. Balnor's, Balnor's looking okay, but he's been better. I've been better. Uh, Bev is at death's door, and he's ringing the doorbell, but nobody's answering. So if somebody could come pick Bev up. Uh, Moonshine's uh, right there with him. Uh, oh, no. So the other two guys are going to go after Bev, uh, Hard One. Looking for the key under the doormat. One guy, one guy silent, hits Hard One. We're singing Silent Night, but the German version. <laughs> the real six, six damage to Hard One. Um, that is Moonshine's turn. Okay, um... What I want to do is I want to cast Erupting Earth on the ground underneath the the archers. Oh, so that on they'll the all just above. fall into the abyss. That's what's up. Yeah, cool. Uh, so what do I have to do? Spell. Well, they all throw dexterity saving throws, to, or they take damage. However, if they, it if, fucks up the... I'm doing it to fuck up the ground underneath them so that they all fall into the abyss. Cool. So you're going to fuck is, up that bridge? Cool. Okay, so there are eight guys up there. Mm -hmm. uh, erupting Earth, yeah, I'll say... It's got a 20-foot cube. And I'm guessing they're all pretty close to each other. I'll see you get hit six of them. Okay. With 20 feet. Um, okay, so they're going to start rolling dex saves. What's your DC? 15. First guy fails. So okay. there's uh, an explosion. The bridge above you guys starts rocking. Rocks start falling. It's pretty treacherous yep. down here. Pretty dangerous for you guys. Um, but one guy does slip off and fall off into the abyss. Make it rain Knowles, Moon Giant. <laughs> <laughs> he is gone. It's raining Knowles. Uh, second guy fails. He falls off into the abyss. Third guy passes. Uh, he but he's still going to take half damage. We'll cool. figure that at the end. He'll take half damage. Next guy fails. He falls off into the abyss. Get in the hole, okay. you know. Shit. Okay. Get in the no hole, baby. <laughs> uh, how many guys did I say could hit? Six. Six. Okay. So you got two more. Two more guys. Another guy fails. Oh my god! He yes. falls off into the abyss. Murdered these people. Last guy fails. Falls yes. off into the abyss. A huge okay, so the... chunk of the bridge above you guys breaks off, and you see Knowles just fall down. A couple of them like hit themselves on the way down and fall off into the abyss. I'll say the guys that got a success fall down to the bridge below you guys and just take half. Oh, damage. cool! Hey. Yeah, they take. Hey. Uh, whoa! Hey. They take uh, half of fourteen. They take seven damage. Cool. And then I'm gonna use my bonus action to look at the amulet. Sweet, go Gander. Ahead. So half die, half your hit dice. Can I at least like shimmy? Shimmy. Well, I'm paralyzed, but can I at least jiggle a little bit? You can do a little dance. All right, shimmy, thank shimmy, you. shimmy, cocoa puff. It better be the littlest. <laughs> Gaze dance. at me now. <laughs> better be the littlest dance you've ever done. Moonshine is Beverly <laughs> shaking his nipples. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing is moving uh, but my nipples. Him that. <laughs> that is the beefy boy's turn. There are two beefy boys who are dead, but there are two who are alive. Ain't um, that the way? One of them was on Bev, and one of them was on Balnor. So the one after Balnor goes, and he does hit Balnor with his first attack. Uh, Hang in there, Balnor. And he hits Balnor with his second attack. That is 13 damage to Balnor. Balnor is on death's door. Look at the amulet, Balnor. Other guy goes after Bev. I'll do it on my turn. Balnor, gaze between my nipples. Um, Look at his nipples, Balnor. <laughs> Look uh, at him. 11, da 11 damage to you, Bev. Oh, I'm down. Cool. I got you, Bev. Don't worry. Bev goes Please. down. I just uh, had to do the erupting earth thing so I couldn't do a heal on you. He'll take his second uh, attack then on Balnor. And he Bev misses really Balnor. Was shaking his nipples too hard. Uh, <laughs> that's why he Bev started milking blood. <laughs> that is. They started chafing like a runner. <laughs> hard one. That's hard one. That's your turn. Um, who's near me? I want to. I want to swing my axe at whoever's. You got the beefies. You've got a bunch of gnolls down here. You've got your pick of yeah. the litter. There hard are, one. There are like ten. Jesus there are Christ. like 12 gnolls I'll go down after, here. I'll go after the, the beefy that's uh, beefing on Balnor. There's too much cool. beef in this salad. Yes. There's way too much beef. Yeah, this is like, we're we're getting a taco salad. Yeah. Is there a fucking tortilla <laughs> yeah. shell? I'm feeling Except very vegan. Let's get rid of this beef. <laughs> Crunch in the bottom of the hole of the salad. Uh, 16. 16. Uh, that hits. 14 damage. One beefy boy gone. Sick. I, did that does. It? This other guy is on death's door. Did it cleave into the other beefy? It cleaved into the, uh, cleaved into the other beefy. All right, cool. Um, no beef. <laughs> yes, 22. 22, uh, yes, of course, hits. I like beyond beef. 
Nice, dude. 18 damage. Uh, you fully kill one, and you kill another injured null. Hell yeah. Yes. Bandit boobs only eat impossible through. burgers. <laughs> <laughs> this battle is an impossible impossible burger. Yeah, it is. That is Deep Rag's turn. We should call him Beef Rag, right? Yeah. Yeah, Beef Rag. Ooh, not funny. <laughs> you guys are so hurt and dead. Um, You're great, Beef, dude. You're cool. the worst. He's going to go after Balnor again. His Balnor's right there. Oh, God. First attack. Roll the seven, Mrs. Balnor. Second attack. Roll the one, Mrs. Balnor. Third attack. Rolls a two. Shout out, Shout out, out to, to the, the two, two crew. crew. Bal- Balnor is just like rolling around, super bloody. Like Balnor knows this fight is for keeps. Balnor's like Rocky. Yeah. Um. That is the purple worm's turn. You guys feel the earth shake and a giant purple worm. You know by this gargantuan oh, beast goodness. with giant purple scales that look like armor bursts through the wall. Not going to act on this turn, but it is going to feed next turn. That is the Knoll's turn. Wow. They look so fucking amped about this. There are now like 11 guys down on the bridge with you. Uh, we'll say three after each one of you guys and two after Balnor. First two guys go after hard one. One guy hits. Hits you for four damage. Um, third guy goes against you. Misses. Uh, Moonshine, three guys going against you. This is insane. I just rolled three fours. Good. They yeah. all miss. Ooh, they three look f- like three little dancing ladies. Hey, three fours at death's door, am I right? Ooh. That is uh, three guys against Bev. I'm down. Oh, Bev's down. Bev's down. Oof, then I'll say five guys they, against- yeah, They can just kick me if five, I want. Five guys against Balnor. Oh, no. Um, okay, so then one guy hits Balnor for six, brings him down to five. Uh, then there are two more guys. Dip and dodge, Balnor. Other two guys miss Balnor. Balnor is oh, on he dips. the door, uh, but he is still alive. That's our dippy daddy. That Don't is eat the beef, Balnor. Back up to Moonshine's turn. Okay, I need I need a refresher. A lot's been happening. What's the field look like right now? The beefy boys are dead. You guys have 11 gnolls crowding the bridge with you, along with Deep Rag up on the bridge above you. There are still three archers who have not been touched. Can I ready in action to throw a guy into Yanoba's mouth when it goes to attack, mm. when it goes to eat. Yes, I'll let you do a, the way the Yanoba mechanic is gonna work is uh-huh. I'm gonna have Yanoba roll. I'm gonna roll in front of the board and if it matches your initiative, that's the person it goes after. Okay. So you want a ready in action to throw it into Yanoba's mouth? I want a th- ready in action to throw one of the, someone into Yanoba's mouth Great. and then wow. that's a bonus action. Kay. I'd like to do a third level healing word on Bev. Whoa. Great. What's okay. the word? <laughs> What's the word? Uh, Triangle. It's obviously Kalu Kale. Yeah, there we go. I think I whisper, I whisper a magical Kalu. And it like it turns into vapor and enters. How about you say Kalu and I spring oh, back to life okay. and say Kalei? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bev pops back up. Also, I love that you've readied like a judo flip. Yeah, I know. I'm hoping it does something. That's gonna be good. Okay. Um. It's how, wait, how much do I get? Gonna be. It's gonna be sixteen. All right. Okay. Sweet. Okay. We can work with that. Bev pops back up. Moonshine, go ahead and give me an opposed athletics check against one of these gnolls, and we'll see if you, you can, like, wrestle Athletics, them. is that strength? Because I get... Oh, no, I'm not a fucking barbarian right now. No. Punk. Okay. But you've been doing crunches on the yeah. SS Stormborn. <laughs> you have pretty good strength. Okay. 20. Not nat. You're handily defeating one of these gnolls uh, in a wrestling match right now. <laughs> that is Hard One's turn. Sweet. I'm beefy gonna, boys are dead. Beefy boys are dead. I'm going to just turn around and see if I can cleave through some of these little fuckers. Yeah. That's a good idea. There are a couple hurt ones. Oh, sweet. All yeah. right, cool. So, Yanoba yeah. likes her salad leaves. There Tiny. are a couple. There are a couple. So that... there's, the, there's beef and then there's leaves. Yeah, it's, these a, guys it's are the shredded leaves. lettuce for the taco bowl. This is fucking, <laughs> you guys are arugula and me. <laughs> Why not to know? It's just cheese and meat, man. I, I crit on that arugula, though. Nice. Ooh, I love arugula. Y'all so are soggy pepper. iceberg. Yeah, y'all are some freezer burned iceberg. <laughs> y'all are some iceberg lettuce that's in the back of the fridge and it gets too cold. No, like we're a little nice bit of chunks of cheese and thick fridge. meats. No 30 way. Damage. Thirty damage. You fully kill Ooh. two. Yeah. Um, it two. really feels like they're leafy. <laughs> you fully <laughs> kill we got beefy two boys and hurt dudes. Beefy and leafy. <laughs> leafy boys. And you have Rider, one guy that's pretty hurt now. All right, like sweet. Halfway in to, this halfway world, to I'll take my second attack on him then. Cool. In this world, you're either beefy or leafy. 
<laughs> 26. 26 hits, obviously. Yep. 17 damage. 17 damage, fully kills one, cleaves into another. Uh, who's who's looking okay, but you know they don't have uh, that oh, much shit. health. Oh, um, shit. On my turn, I also spore someone for six. Cool. So that's Hard One's turn. I realize you guys have killed a bunch of people, and in the previous encounter with the gnolls, they uh, went crazy and started attacking people, but I realized that um, that's when they kill somebody. So oh, okay. that was uh, that was a mistake on my part. So they're not quite as ravenous this time. They that's just good. look pumped, but aren't acting on it as much. Mm. How we're, slobbery are they? So slobbery. God, I want to take now a... That, now that Yonoba's here... Ugh, I want to take a big bounty paper towel to their mouths. That is your <laughs> turn, Bev. You can do that if you... Hell yes! <laughs> Wait, uh, are you paralyzed? Um, no, I oh. brought him, I just brought him back to life. I was dead. Oh, you were dead. Yeah. Cool. The effect lives if I die, right? A little yeah. worse than paralyzed. <laughs> cool. uh, okay, so for a bonus action, I'm going to look into the amulet. Great. Um, I'll do that after do my that turn. After, yeah. Look at your own shaking nipples. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I try to contain them. Goose pimpled and quivering. <laughs> <laughs> I push them in and my eyes bulge out. <laughs> um, how many we got? What are we looking at? What's the map? Yeah, and I need refreshers everywhere. You got like six down here and three up top. You got Yanoba who just burst through the wall, and you've got Deep Reg. I'm just going to cleave and then do an amulet peep. Great. You can go after a hurt one. Uh, I imagine that 24 hits. Super hits. That's 25. Yeah, okay, great. Ooh, that's going to be 15. Uh, one guy dies. Uh, yeah. You can damage to another guy. Cool. Uh oh. Uh, next attack is just eleven. That does not hit. Shoot. Locks it with his fierce teeth. So let's say you wipe the slobber off with a bounty paper towel. Right? Absolutely, yeah. yeah. You at least get a slobber off. <laughs> and the dog's doing that thing where it's like, <laughs> and it's resisting. Uh-huh. Mm. That I'm is, like, no. That is Deep Rag's turn. Right. Deep Rag, first attack against Balnor because he's been attacking Balnor. Flail of Madness goes first. 28 to hit. That is certainly going to hit. This is probably the worst one. Although, Balnor would normally need to make a saving throw or else he would need to attack the person next to him. But Balnor takes nine damage and goes down. So Balnor gets cut down. Thank goodness, maybe? (laughs) I don't know. Depends on... Depends on how you look at it. Yeah, if you're rooting for Yanoba, this is good. (laughs) Well, I stopped healing word today, so... Uh, Y'all, we got bonus action heals all around. Are you sure you want to whisper in Balnor's ear? Uh, (laughs) Then I guess he'll take the next one. It would just be, instead of Kalukale, it'll be, I'm just not that into you. (laughs) He'll take the next one at Bev. He sees these guys just healing each other. Um, Uh, After my heal, I got 50 points back, so I'm at 66 HP now, just to clarify. Good for you. That's good. Uh, he's going so to jealous. try to kill you for that. You look too <laughs> healthy, you son of a bitch. Uh, <laughs> I'm a crisp, refreshing mint. Yeah, he, uh, he throws the flail of pain, and he misses. He throws the flail of paralysis, and he hits. Uh-oh. Bev, you take seven bludgeoning damage. Okay. Um, and then make a constitution saving throw. All right. DC 16. 16, okay. But don't you get to add a bunch of stuff? Yeah, but it's still a three. So uh, that's going to be, what, uh, seven plus uh, four. So red. Not enough, yeah. Is this red fuzz around. Damn it, I'm paralyzed again? again. This always happens. You do get. You're prone to paralysis. You are prone to paralysis. <laughs> saving throws, despite you being a paladin and being built to s- survive saving throws, you you as a person, your weakness is saving throws. Sure, yeah. What kind of spell could I get? That, that is could... Balnor's turn. He's going to make a death saving throw. Mm. I mean, I should have I should Balnor rolls blessed. a natural one. That is two death fails. Jesus. One more Wait. and Balnor is dead forever. Wait, wh- what? No. Two fails for Balnor. I disagree. So it is Yanoba's turn. Yanoba is going to attack randomly. Right now, you guys are all grouped. Moonshine has a knoll ready to throw into its mouth. Just don't roll a one or a two, and you can throw the knoll into the mouth. Otherwise, it eats one of the knolls that are up there. Oh, yeah, yeah. That makes sense to me. You got a dice. Roll it. 12. 12. Okay. Yanoba launches at you guys. Moonshine tosses this knoll into its maw. It closes its mouth just as it's cresting over the bridge like Free Willy swallows this knoll hole. This knoll (laughs) hole. Uh, And another knoll goes down. The worm goes through. You see behind it, it it does have a stinger, but this purple worm is just feeding right now. It's not even, this is not the worm attacking. This is it feeding. Uh, and it barrels back in. I'd like to shout in. out to everyone. Focus on the gnolls. I kind of, I kind of respect this worm. <laughs> uh, 
Yes. I'm trying to fight it. Uh, you hear a deep rag go, yes, she gets it. See, this is why you and I have a thing. She okay. respects it. She doesn't think it's a god, Yeah. Dude. You're a fucking no, weirdo. Seriously, I'm not making weird blood splatters yeah, on you're the ground, a jerking off into them and <laughs> yeah. asking you know, but to come bless them. I know, my tiny little cool. Peenie. It's like going to the zoo and being like, oh, this is a neat animal. Yeah, yeah you want to give it to your saying. god as you a pet. You don't build a temple at the zoo and worship the walrus. Yeah, you know? for real. Have All some right. self-respect. One one regular no for each of you guys. Uh, first one misses hard one. Second one hits moonshine. Okay. Four damage. Uh, next one goes after Bev. Hits Bev. Rolled 19. Seven damage on Bev. Mm-hmm. Uh, Palmer's down. So uh, other guy will take a shot at Bev and misses. Uh, then there are still three up on the bridge. I keep saying two or three. It's three. Um, and they shoot down. I'll say one for each of you guys. One for hard one. Misses. One for Moonshine. Hits. Seven damage to Moonshine. Um, and one for Bev. Misses. Uh, bounces off <laughs> Bev's armor. God, you're a bad shot. He's standing super still. <laughs> Shut up. We're frazzled. You're not the, the bridge over. I'm, I'm literally outlined in red. We're super ex... Oh, you're right. Uh, he rolls with advantage, but he rolls with a two. <laughs> you piece of Thank shit. Thank you. Thank you for reminding me. Uh, that is back up to Moonshine's turn. Okay. Um, uh, Four down on the ground here with you guys. A uh, couple of them are hurt. hurt. Who looks the most hurt? Three Valor. of them that are a little hurt that you hit when you knocked just down on the bridge. Just a little hurt? Yeah. I mean, right. they don't have that Fucking much HP. Fine. I'm just going to regular attack while one of the most hurt looking ones. Great. Um... Does a 13 hit? It does not. Fuck me. Well, I still hit him for, I spores him for six. Okay. Uh, one still guy, fucking standing? Still standing. All right. And then I bring Balnor back with a third level healing word. And what do you say to Balnor? I say, <laughs> um, I say, I just see us more of a brother. <laughs> I didn't hear that. I came up after. <laughs> Balnor didn't want to wake up when he heard it. I heal him for... 15. 15. Balnor, well, Balnor's back. Pretends to stay down, but he doesn't. <laughs> oh, <come back>. no. <laughs> um, I'm only dead on the inside now. Uh, that is hard one's turn. Uh, I'm going to swing my axe at some of the the uh, lesser beefy boys. Great. 19. 19 hits. Oh, I guess they're not beefy boys. They're just regular boys. 10 damage. Yeah, they're leafy boys. Leafy damage. boys. Oh, yeah. Leafy boys. Uh, the one that Moonshine hurt goes down, and you do a damage to another guy. Cool. I'm going to see if I can kill him. Cool. 22. That hits. 14. Oh, wait. 13. He is at 1 HP. Ah. Yeah. That is... Come on. It's maybe like... I can turn him into a fucking Bad zombie. Turn. Yeah. I'll turn anyone to a zombie. All right, how many how many knolls we got left? Uh, three downstairs, three upstairs. Well, I'm paralyzed, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> you can't do anything. Yeah, you're right. Uh, do, I, do I get to roll to try and get out of it? Nope. Can uh, we hear uh, your is... paralyzed thoughts at least? <laughs> <laughs> that is Deep Rag's turn. On Deep Rag's turn, uh, he'll go after. I'm thinking about how bad I want a Niswa salad. Uh, he'll go after Balnor Ooh. first. Yeah. Misses on the first attack. Misses on the second attack. Three and a five. And a three. Three, five, three. Ooh. Balnor blocks three times. Balnor is angry because he just got dumped. That is <laughs> Balnor's turn. Again. Balnor is going to... Brought back to life only to be dumped. <laughs> Balnor's going to take an opportunity attack. From... Honestly, I brought him back to life by dumping him, which is like a good metaphor. Totally. You know? True. Balnor Fresh does... start, Balnor. Balnor does get hit with an opportunity attack. <gasps> oh. Um, for oh. eight damage, so he's at half but he runs up to the guy who only has one HP. Crit on the wounded, right, guys? <laughs> uh, he does hit. Do what you gotta do, man. Deprive me of my zombie. Um, he kills one, and he injures another. Uh, he takes a second attack, hits, um, greatly injures another one. Uh, there are only two down here now, um, and they're pretty hurt. Dope. That is Yanoba's turn. Uh, you know everybody what? roll a pure luck check. Or no, you know what? Somebody roll in front of the table for me for Yanoba. 11. That is Deep Rags initiative. <laughs> wow. wow. Yo. It's Whee! judgment day, Whee! bitch. You, you, were, you were looking over at Hard One and I was like, no, that wasn't his initiative. No. I know it wasn't. That I know it wasn't. So fucking lucky. Cause I have I have it basically set up so that like 
The other gnolls are kind of disposable. You'll know we'll go after them. I wasn't going to let it go after Deep Rag unless it hit his exact thing. So you see... I wish there was a way that he could know that I oh, he, rolled that. Oh, he doesn't know that you rolled it, but he is <laughs> he now just... covered. He is covered in gnoll blood. So his scent is mm-hmm. different than it was otherwise. Because he's this shaman that has a connection yeah. to Yenoba. but he summoned it. So he's standing there. He's like super confident as it approaches him. He's still going to do his saving throw, but he's going to take a full attack from a goddamn purple worm. Oh, so it goodness. is plus nine to hit. Your god hates you, dude. <laughs> no, no, I'm just covered in your shitty blood, you fucks. Hey, dude. Brag, I just want you to know that it was Moonshine who threw that dice. You I live- don't know what dice is. Stop metagaming. <laughs> you live by the worm, you die by the worm, big guy. Okay. No oh, blood. my God. Oh, he man. takes... 27 damage oh. from a bite from the purple worm. Uh, and then he is, you see him get caught in the beast's maw, and he's going to go ahead and do a saving throw. I will roll it right in front of the table. It's a DC 19 saving throw. He's got to roll a 19 or a 20. He's got a plus zero to dex. I'm not letting him use my aura. <laughs> the, the worm's on our side. I think I might worship this thing. Yeah. I'm going to start worshiping this thing. Oh, he rolled 19. really well. Whoa. 19. Deep Rag pushes himself out of the worm, uh, and Yanoba keeps going, and he's just covered in blood, and he's got this giant gash across his chest, and he goes, I am the new survivor. Me, it is I. I am a god. But I thought you didn't respect Bastion. Yeah, no, you, you because were, I am the real survivor. You were tasty enough for Yanoba. Do you yeah. see? I am the real survivor. I would I call know. you a reject. You look uh, more like an appetizer. That is the Knoll's turn. Uh, I'll say one will go after Bev, one will go after Hard One. One goes after Hard One and crits. I'm so oh. sorry. Sorry, Hardy. Seven damage, Hard One. Sorry, Hardy. Next <laughs> one, uh, Bev. Uh, yeah. One misses on you. Are you paralyzed? I'm still paralyzed. You're not paralyzed. Um, still misses. Rolls a one and a two. Woo. They're shooting at you from above. Patink, patink. Um, misses. Two fives in a row. Misses. Misses. Last guy, even with advantage. I'm a small target. Hits once. Okay. Not that For small. For six. That is Moonshine's turn. All right. I need to run down to the field again. There are still two knolls down here that are pretty messed up. Three guys on the bridge above you shooting at Bev, Yanoba squirming around, and Deep Rag swinging his flail. I attack one of the guys who are on death's door. Okay. Uh, 27 hits. That hits. 17. 17. Moonshine, you cut through one. Rosaline explodes with fire, and you do eight damage to the guy next to him. He is hurt. Oh, and then I spores the guy next to him. Sweet. Six damage? Yeah. He's on death's door. Fucking fuck me. I can't make a fucking zombie out of these fucking gnolls. That is That's so wait, hard one's turn. That seems so hard. That seems like a really difficult. You know, it's usually easy to, to kill someone with your fucking spores. Yeah. There's uh just one knoll next to me, right? There's just one knoll who is so hurt. All right, I'm gonna try to uh, cleave through the leaf into the beef. Great. Mm. Twenty. Hits. Not gnat, but not that. Nine. Nine. Uh, goes right through him, does six damage to Deep Rag. <laughs> I am the survivor. Yeah, we'll see about that. Yeah. Second attack on uh, Beef Rag. Not the Beef Rag. I crit, baby. Whoa. That's a 19. You guys better kill him fast. There's not a lot for you know to choose from right now. Mm-mm. 24. He's hurt. Really wanted him to be dead. That is Deep Rag's turn. Uh, you've been calling him Beef Rag. Uh, Bev, you come up out of the paralysis. Oh, cool. Uh, He's going to go after you, hard one. First attack, flail of madness. Crits. Oh. Uh, I'm going to go down. Uh, That is 14 damage bludgeoning. And then go ahead and give me a wisdom saving throw. I ain't smart. Nat 20. Hey. I'm smart today, though. (laughs) No effect on you at all. Uh, wow, two crits. He crit on you and you crit on him. Uh, when they crit on you, you get a crit back. Yep. Flail of pain. He takes a swing at you. Misses. Flail of paralysis takes a swing at you. 21. Ooh. He's going to hit you. Yep. Go ahead and give me a constitution saving throw. Uh, you take nine damage off the bat. Then I'm down. Hard one goes down. Shit. That is Balnor's turn. Balnor is going to take some swings on Deep Rag. 
He hits. Nice. 11 damage. Uh, Deep Rag's looking fucked. You can go Bally. There you go. Well, I'm dead, so. <laughs> <laughs> uh, My eyes are open, but one closes, so it's sort of like a wink. <laughs> <laughs> Misses on the second attack. That is Unoba's turn. Uh, go ahead, and there's not that many guys left. Uh, go ahead and roll in front of the table. Hmm. Four. Is it four? Four. That is exactly the Knowles initiative. Ha. I'm yeah. not even kidding how Yo, fucking lucky you you're guys rolling are. That's very why, well. from the very start, I was like, I roll for the group okay. today. I it's going to go out. I feel the fire yeah, in you the got face. <laughs> this is perfect luck. The worm goes up to the bridge above you guys where there are three guys. Go ahead and roll a D4. See how many guys fuck, because they're grouped up and stupid as fuck. Three. Oh, full gulp. Full gulp. I'm you know, but eats the one, three one, one. guys that are above in one swallow. And you guys, it, it crunches down on the first one and like half of a knoll falls down and covers you guys in blood. And you see Deep uh -oh. Rag is just uh -oh. like, it is beautiful, the most religious experience of my life. Guys, we're all covered in knoll gravy. Uh, that is the knoll's turn. The knolls are all dead. Ah. That is Moonshine's turn. Oh, there's not a single standing knoll? There's not a single standing knoll, but there's going to be nobody left to eat but you guys yep, um, rude. this turn. Yeah, cool. I don't got much to do, so I'm just going to attack uh, and hope for a crit Okay. on uh, what's the face? Beef rag? Uh, does a 16 hit? 16 does hit. It just oh, hits. Oh, thank you. Beef rag. Ooh, okay, I hit nice. him for, I hit him for 19. Moonshine, <gasps> finish him. Woo! I think I wanna dip him, like do a really masculine dip, like I'm in like a tango with him, and then get really close into his face and be like, it was fun while it lasted, but I think this tryst has run its course, and then I wanna kiss him with my spores. Oh. Yeah, he, he locks lips with you, he's, so horny right now. Just <laughs> covered in blood. He just survived being eaten by Yanoba. Makes out with you hard and dies halfway. He goes, no, no, I'm the survivor. I am the survivor. Survive this. <laughs> Kiss him with the spores and turn him into a fucking zombie. Yeah. Welcome to the team. Zombie. Yes, it's poetic. I finally get my zombie. Can you just make the zombie walk right off the cliff? <laughs> yeah. Okay. I think I'm going to use him as like a mannequin and try on some outfits <laughs> okay, guys. for a while. You guys have 200 feet that you guys have to traverse to get to the other side. You know, but it's still eating people. The only people that are left are zombie, uh, okay. zombie deep rag. If we've and got him then, so I killed him, but someone could throw zombie guy, zombie deep rag into Yanoba. Okay. Someone yeah. We're just like leave action. him Hard kind one. of swaying on uh, the cool. bridge. First off, Moonshine, you have not taken any movement. Would you like to run towards the exit? What would you yeah, like to do? I'm Wait, what about me? I'm dead. Can you, oh, do you have healing word dead? anymore? Did I use a bonus action? No, I've got a healing word. Bringing you back. Okay. Woo. That's what's up. Hard one comes back. Oh, sorry. That's all I need, baby. Eight hit points. I just gotta run. Hard one comes back up. I only got one first level left. Moonshine, would you like to make it, make a run for the bridge? Oh wait, what yeah. did you say to me? What did I say to you? I said, oh man, you missed a pretty good death. <laughs> <laughs> I wake up and I'm like, did you kiss him? <laughs> <laughs> And then I'm fucking booking it. Okay, so you um, can. But I'm I'm uh, shoving the zombie to you guys so that him. you can like Great. use him as a pawn. Moonshine, what is your speed? Thirty-five. Cool. You have 165 feet left to make it. That is Hard One's turn. Hard One, you've got you, Balnor, and Bev are still up. You've got this zombie there. Uh, purple worm is gonna act at some point. Cool. I prop the zombie up, pants him, and run. <laughs> hard one takes a full dash action. Hard one, you have 140 feet left to traverse. Bev, that is your turn. Okay. Um, I'm gonna click my yippy skippy boots. Ooh. Nice. And Ooh. Um, with a full dash action, I could get 100 feet away. Nice. Damn. And with a Dang, bonus action, Skitty can cow. I uh, misty step even further? Yes. Okay, cool. Bev, you fucking flash ahead. You are a mere Woo! 70 feet. He's just so excited to not be paralyzed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My legs work. Man, when you move, you move fast. Okay. 
Then that is Deep Rag's turn. Deep Rag is a zombie. Moonshine, you can control him. I tell him to jump into Yunoba's mouth. Smart. Okay. As a zombie, he has very slow speed, but he's going to start heading towards you and Hard One and kind of try to get in the middle. And unless Yunoba rolls your exact initiative, uh, Deep Rag will try to jump into this mouth. Valnor will run his 25 feet, and then he is going to prepare a reaction. A respectable jog. Mm. Uh, and he's prepared to eat a tuna sandwich if he needs to. <laughs> Roll in front of the table for me. Okay. 16. That is nobody's initiative. So you see the worm goes up kind of between like Hard One and Balnor on the bridge and Deep Rag dives into its mouth. Was there like a, a lizard that rolled 16? <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> it's like a little that beetle. That lizard's fine. He succeeded on his deck. So throw. What about like a wasp, a cave wasp? <laughs> an, an that was just like deep, in, <laughs> in the game and no one else cared. Deep Rag the, oh, no. deep rag the idiot uh, is swallowed. Um, Balnor then. Dead is, Rag. Uh, Balnor had a reaction prepared. He's going to use his other 25 feet uh, to keep running. He's at 150 feet. Uh, that's back around to Moonshine. Moonshine, you have 165 feet to traverse. Uh, you got no more dummies to throw. Then I'm just doing 70 feet. Sweet, 70 feet. Uh, that is Hard One's turn. I will keep on running. Cool. Uh, what's your speed? 30. 30, cool. Uh, so you do another 60 feet. You are 80 feet away. Bev, that's your turn. You're 70 feet away. Then I do a full dash to get there. Sweet. Yeah. Uh, Bev, you climb up these rock handholds and squeeze through the fissure outside, and you are fully out of this cave. <sighs> That is... Oh, gosh, it's beautiful. Balnor's turn. Balnor will take full dash action. That is Yanoba's turn. Roll initiative in front of it. It's going to go after one of you guys. It's 20. It's going to... I got a nat 20. Oh, but I, my initiative was 20, wasn't it? So how does that factor in? It was your, it was your initiative. Moonshine. The worm. That sucks. I got a nat 20, and it's a bad thing. Uh, a bad 20. Worm launches for you, Moonshine. 18 to hit. Doesn't Baldor have a reaction? He does, but he's like he's too 60 away. feet away from her. Uh, 18 hits. 18 does hit. Okay. Uh, and you're too far away from Bev to get his thing. Oh, Go God. Ahead and give me a dexterity saving throw. DC 19. I didn't get it. Moonshine is swallowed by Yanoba. Well, what kind of damage did I take, by the way? She rolled very low, 13. Oh, okay. Oh, Jesus Christ. Then okay. I take, uh, then I'm down to 11. This worm's not full, goddamn. You t okay, so you're down to 11, and you are swallowed by this worm. Yeah. Hard one, you're still out there. You and Balnor see Moonshine get swallowed. Do I see this from this worm. up top? Can we Depends say I'm like still peeking in? Yeah, you can still be peeking in. All right. So Moonshine, you are blinded and restrained inside this worm. You feel like it's muscles contracting and acid coming up around you. Oh God, that's scary. Okay, so I'm going to uh, use my action to enter fungal mode, okay. which will give me 21 extra hit points. That's super helpful. Bringing me up to 32. And then uh, spores it for 12. Okay. And I'm going for its uvula, of course. <laughs> that is Hard One's turn. Oh, um, can I do like a strength check trying to like open its mouth or something? If you would like to do an opposed strength check against this plus nine beast, I will allow it. And I'm a plus nine beast too. <laughs> I'll let you like kind of gag it, and then it'll do a Constitution saving throw. To Hard one's got that to just not like throw up. Punch at it's but, Adam's apple. Yeah. But mm. if you do not win, it will swallow you too, unless you pass the Dexterity saving throw. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna pets. try to punch it in the throat. Okay, Hard One sees Moonshine swallowed by this worm, jumps up in his maw. Uh, go ahead. Let's roll in front of the table. I my guy has a plus nine. So do I. Uh, Twenty-three. I'm gonna use my luck point. Okay. Okay. You got a plus five, right? Oh yeah, yeah. I do have a plus five. Okay, so you got to get eighteen or higher. <gasps> oh my god! Yeah, yeah, dude. <laughs> Holy yes! fucking shit. That's the luck point, baby. Oh my God. Woo! With a nat 20. Ooh, yeah. Hard one. 
Hard one. You see Moonshine swallowed by this worm. Moonshine, you are sucked into this thing's belly. You see acid rising around you. You turn into a fungal entity and start climbing your way up its body. Hard one, you jump up, grab its maw, stop it from swallowing you, reach in with your arm, grab Moonshine, predator handshake, and pull her out. Yes! Sweet, dude. You don't even need to do a deck save with a nat 20. Give me a fucking break. That's, That's so good. Yeah, baby. Perfect yeah. Writing. Lucky, You know, lucky. I also rolled a nat 20, but it actually got me swallowed. <laughs> Two nat 20s on the yeah, piece cool. of shit. Dude. 20 still the end. Sweet. On the way out, can I kick it in the uvula? <laughs> yeah, you kick in the uvula. Yes. Nice. He barfs a little I want to take a shit in it. <laughs> um, <laughs> can I, like, toss them a rope or something? <laughs> that is your turn, yeah. Yeah, all right, I'll, I'll try and uh, restrain it with nature's wrath. Okay. I'm just going to try and uh, summon some vines. So you got to hit with an attack? Uh, no, it's, um, it's like a strength or deck saving throw. And okay. Pretty strong, but you know, okay, we're rolling what, 20s. What is your DC? No, it's just mine. Oh, uh, 15. 15, okay. This thing rolls a six or higher, it breaks out of the vines. Okay. I'm gonna roll in front of the table. That's a four, baby. <gasps> That's a four. Yes! <laughs> Bev, you wrap spectral vines around the worm. You feel Pelor flowing through you, just this white glow around the vines. Hug it, Pelor. <laughs> Hug like you've never hugged. Uh-huh. Have one of these vines pour me a beer. <laughs> Balnor's turn uh, is going to run 50 feet. Uh, almost there. He's up there with Hard One and Moonshine. That is the Purple Worm's turn. Purple Worm is going to try to get out. Needs to do another strength save to get out. Uh, Yeah. Sweet. Nat. One. Oh, baby. <laughs> Purple Worm stays in. You guys have Stay plenty there. of time now. So Yanoba is caught up in Bev's nature's wrath. You see the spectral vines keeping the beast at bay with miracle levels of holy energy. It gives the rest of you just enough time to climb out of the cave and reach the outside. You've escaped the Knoll Tunnels. You can see Mount Forge, but you find yourself at the edge of a cliff. You see that the rocks above the Knoll Caves are slanted down, causing snow to slide down and pack deep down below. It's a long drop down, but there looks to be a decent amount of snow there. Behind you, you hear Yenoba burst through the vines and begin burrowing towards you. What do you do? We should hold hands and jump like you're going into the pool. Yeah, Absolutely. yeah, I'll jump onto Toy it. Toy Story 3 style. <laughs> you guys, Toy Story 3 style, Balnor holds your hand and you guys whoosh, and leap since off. I have the Featherfall ring. If I hold hands with people, does that help a little bit? <laughs> we'll find out next time. <laughs> <laughs> Not Ooh. another D&D podcast. Ugh. A literal cliffhanger. Ooh. My God. Oh, nice. Very true. Yeah. My goodness. Cool, guys. Well, I guess we'll talk about this more on the short rest, about whether you guys survive or not. I can't believe that fucking nat 20. That's yeah. perhaps most clutch nat 20 in nad pod history. Um, and I rolled the worst nat 20 we've ever the, had. That's, that's the worst the nat, tw- so nat 20 in nad pod history. Your mechanic makes me mad, and you should have <laughs> had a clause. But I don't know what the way around it was, though. Right. There's no, there's no way <laughs> it's around It's exactly it. how it should have worked. You can control your But Nova. I was really mad to see a 20 and be disappointed yeah. by it, because usually that sight is so, such well, a yeah. gift. You know what? We wouldn't have had this wonderful moment. Had, True. Had it was it an alley like this. Yeah, 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 totally. Beautiful. I thought there was a... T- the way it was designed, the way that... Because you guys, you guys did great and had a lot of luck, but in a weird way, Yanoba showing up late is sort of bad luck. It can kind of go either way. Yeah, because yeah. there weren't as many people left She could have just all. eaten like a billion gnolls. It could have gotten to the point where you guys just like got rid of Deep Rag, and then she ate 10 gnolls while you guys ran away. And got full. Yeah. yeah. Let's talk about it well, on the short rest. Oh yeah, that's a great short rest. Yeah, we'll talk yeah. about it on the short rest. Mm-hmm. Um, guys, head on over to patreon.com slash nadpod. That's N-A-D-D-P-O-D. Don't sing yet. <gasps> Uh, we'll be back next week with a Christmas special. Hey. Christmas, baby. Is old Cobb going to be back? Oh, you know he's going to be back. Now that is the Christmas I'll gift give, of all I, time. I will tease it a little bit for you guys. It is going to open with, it is a story that old Cobb tells. He's going to be sitting oh. by a oh. fireplace. Twas the night before Christmas? Yes, it, that's exactly Sorry. what it is. I, 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 that's exactly no what it is. Oh, right. I can't next wait to hear is those. Twas the night before Christmas. I can't wait to hear that delicious asmr like mm. crackling oh, fire. Man, like in the, with fire. old Cobb. Southern drawl. I can smell the crick nog now. <laughs> <laughs> and um, we'll be back uh, next year finding out whether or not you guys survive this fall. But the Ring of Featherfall should help you guys. A little bit. Deep yeah. snow. I, I do want to say one thing. Crick eggnog is made with uh, gator eggs. <laughs> oh, absolutely. <laughs> Just to, it should be noted. My God.
Still uh, in the shell. Cool, yeah, guys. and instead of nutmeg, it's just dirt. Okay, thank you. <laughs> yeah. uh, let's plug our stuff. Uh, so check out Hot Date on Netflix. Me and yeah. Emily's sketch show. <gasps> That's a good Christmas show. Yeah, mm. watch it around Christmas, Holiday guys. Show. Mm. Uh, hey You Up, How to Turn Your Booty Call into Emergency Contact is our book. You can buy it on Amazon or on Audible. Uh, watch us on Fantasy High on Dropout uh, with some college humor friends and whatnot. Uh, you guys also have Dropout Yeah, projects. check out Cartoon Hell on Dropout. Or Lonely and Horny on Dropout. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what's the code for our Dropout? Sign up .dropout.tv slash nadpod. Check it out, guys. Get it. Uh, what is our P.O. Box? It is 1920 Hillhurst Avenue, number 222, Los Feliz, California, 90027. There's a lot of fun stuff in there that I need to go pick up. Uh, oh. So please keep sending stuff. Fill my box. <laughs> <laughs> Fill my box and thwack the gas. <laughs> this the has been Cobble Tanner. <laughs> Never allowed to do a podcast again. <laughs> uh, do we have anything else to plug? Um, oh, subscribe to Drawfee. We are getting very close to a million subscribers. Get and I think that's cool. <gasps> you know what? Also, a million for the holidays, guys. I'm going to go oh, on. I got something to plug. Uh, re- review us. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Rate and review us, right? Yeah, yeah. we're getting Don't close. We want that it or? still matters. It still matters. Absolutely. It still matters. Yeah. It still matters. Did you know that? Tell your friends about the show. Yeah. Rate and review it. Yeah, and Grass follow roots. us on Twitter at CHMurf is me, at Caldy is Caldwell, at EXford is Emily, and at Jake Hurwitz is Jake. So tweet about the show using hashtag NADPOD. That's N A D D P O D. We are, we are. The youth of the nation. We are, we are. The youth of the nation. It's the end of the show, everybody, and that means we need to shout out our benevolent Council of Elders. It's just me this week, Murph, your direct messenger, so you know what that means. It's the motherfucking lightning round. Starting with Brad D., the only Pebble Pot that isn't Craven, tried to take the Pebble Pot clan to a team-building workshop, but none of them was brave enough to do a trust fall, so Brad D. spent the whole weekend trust falling into a crowd of his relatives who repeatedly got scared and ran away. Jane Loma, 72, a.k.a. Steelbreaker, hard one's gymspiration has never once posted an inspirational quote about putting the work in on Instagram which is how you know Steelbreaker actually puts the work in. Dylan B a sword wielding wizard who accidentally invented blade singing. During the holiday season Dylan B grabs a bunch of swords and goes blade caroling at the Dwarfenage. Danny P Bahumi is resident artist painted hard one senior portrait at the Dwarfenage. Danny P has since gone into an obscure Andy Warhol phase and has an exhibition at Iron Deep's Museum of Modern arts that's just an 8 millimeter film of him eating a sandwich and staring down the barrel of the camera. Tom P, father of the realm, the serenader of sleeping babies, turned entertainer of waking babies. But here's the crazy thing. Tom P is also the entertainer of sleeping babies, babies as he is a powerful dream walking sorcerer who flits between reality and the dream realm. Spencer T, a.k.a. Spencer Caskbrew, patron elder of libations, ale maker to gods and heroes of Bohemia alike. Around the holidays, everyone's clamoring for Spencer's trademark mulled wine, a fine elven ale spiced with cloves and cardamom, then slowly simmered over the flame of a dragon with really good breath control. Griffin SD, a.k.a. The Stranger, the Silver Dragonborn, Eldritch Knight, and ex-owner of the Badger's Pint Inn and Tavern. Quick update, in the middle of the dance competition to save the Badger's Pint Inn and Tavern from becoming an orange theory fitness center a crossfit trainer manipulated the badger's weak ego and the badger flip sides betraying griffin sd and giving the orange theory fitness center the final signature they needed on their building permit beard man dan dan's beard is so long that if yanoba started eating dan beard first she'd fill up before she ever got to dan it's for that reason that dan's beard gives him plus 12 to ac scott d a sun bum which is just a wandering monk of palor who has renounced all shade forever to bask in the light of palor aaron c a great fighter who gives credence to the axiom the pen is mightier than the sword because they fight with two super pointy pens whose ink cartridges have been replaced by necrotic nightshade poison her Hermes W, the Bat King. It has fallen on Hermes' shoulders to forge a political alliance through marriage, so they are currently courting several rodent royalty as well as a human who is the child of a very confused duke. T. Alex, a knoll who woke up with a super bad bloodlust hangover to discover they'd been adopted by a nice family for Christmas. The children have named them Roscoe, and T. Alex is just kind of going with it for now. RJW invented Misty Step as part of a sick skateboarding trick years ago and is super disappointed to see it mostly being used 
used in battle now. Spartus, champion of the Galateron Coliseum Fighting Pits, who has shockingly won a majority of their matches by playing dead. Adam R, the R-rated assassin, word spread of all the nudity and cursing in their killings, and some of the kinkier message boards of Bohemia are filled with fanfic of what it would be like to be killed by Adam R. Cassandra MHP has so much HP that they can use Yanoba stomach acid as a facial peel. Their skin is glowing, like it literally does one point of radiant damage just to look at Cassandra. Danielle the dastardly dame. Danielle is so dastardly she once conjured a blood ritual of Yanoba, but when Yanoba popped out, Danielle didn't have any sacrifices to feed the worm's hunger. All Danielle had was an empty container of hummus, no chips or carrot to eat it with. Yanoba was super pissed, but ate the hummus anyway. Hugh C, aka Haldor Frostback, MVP of the Giant Wars, crewed on the SS Stormborn and fought alongside Elias and Red, uses an ice luge as a slip and slide and deadlifts icebergs. Manny the Mundane, accidental deity who got in the way of a lich's spell to reach divinity when you forget to water your lawn, but then it rains. That's Manny tinkling on your greens. Daniel Yu, a.k.a. Multifor, the many-faced magician, has many faces, and each one of them is hotter than the next. Jordan DJ, legendary DJ of the realm, just spun at the most epic bar mitzvah Bahumi has ever seen. Jeffrey S., Lord of the Fjord, born of the sword, and has never been spored because he's friends with Moonshine. Cutter W., a high elf dandy turned crick architect, recently commissioned to add a gym to Moonshine's stump so Hardwan can get his squats in while he's visiting. Lex Sketch, the escape artist, regularly escapes to the Feywild wild to trip on shrooms and discover himself. John S., a.k.a. Schubert the Mushroom, recently stole mushrooms from a grocery store and is now wanted for kidnapping. Ryan M., a bard known for juggling multiple jobs. It's the gig economy, baby. Elena C., an elf steampunk who has the record for most ear piercings because their ears are so pointy. Andrew M., the only human ever known to teach an iron dwarf dog how to fetch. It was scary, but adorable. Michael McD., head mixologist at the Blue Mana Inn, working on a new special tea drink concocted from whiskey and the brown part of the prawn served neat. Victor T, Balnor's boy, whose loving dad was ripped from his family and transported to another world. The unstableness in his region is heightened by the unstableness he feels by the absence of his father. Henry A, a very drunk sorcerer who casts really zany spells, changing the course of the realm, then wakes up forgetting what the hell happened. Lance W, aka Lance with the stance. He can take such a wide stance that he adds 20 to his decks. Justin I, stars in his very own reality TV show called Stump Wars, where he buys crick stumps at auction without knowing what's inside. Caleb Storm 1, also known as Caleb the Club. Their weapon of choice is a club that they take to the club with their favorite sandwich order, the club. Clayton M, a claymation Dalmatian, thinks they're in love with someone they met on vacation, but it could just be infatuation. Clayton's been hurt before. TJM, a full orc rapper, has a voice like DMX, but can dance like Usher. It's sick. The Professional, the only lawyer to ever successfully beat Papa in litigation, though Papa countersued and they settled out of court. Jacob C saved Ryan the Ram from the clutches of the Knolls and is now riding him majestically through the tundra. Elena M. starred in an award-winning theater show about a knoll falling in love with the Yanoba called Worms of Endearment. Gone Off has gone off on a mystical quest in search of their long-lost father, Stayon. McPucks, the codemaster who created our amazing website, the only human in the world who has actually met the mailer Damon and lived to tell the tale. Earl and Kathleen L., two frost dwarves that were recently married in a beautiful ceremony when Kathleen and Earl looked at each other in the eye and said, fuck you, I love you, eat a rat, there wasn't a dry eye in the house. Dylan M., a talented executioner who kills people with a broadsword, clenched firmly between their butt cheeks. For high-profile executions, however, Dylan prefers to use the glutatine. Jibe G, a holy knoll known as the yummiest. After Yanoba ate them, the worm smiled, rubbed her tummy, and let out a high-pitched, mmm. Nobody knows what Jibe did to earn this praise, but leading scholars think it was because their pockets were full of nutmeg. Corbin A, an era crocra cop who soars the open skies to give parking tickets to airships that are parked on handicapped clouds. Atlas Storm Reaper, a fire giant who just got really into glass blowing. They say they got into it to make cool artwork, but everyone knows they just want to make a cool-ass bong. There's no shame in that, Atlas. Atlas. Jostrich, an ostrich that loves to prank people by jostling their things. You might think it's a harmless prank, but their strong neck can whack a laptop off a table in a heartbeat. You'll never see it coming. E.L. Drag, aka the Dragonaut, a super jack gnome who just entered ketosis, currently locked in battle with their oldest and most powerful foe, a single spoon of yogurt. 
Cameron C., an enormous invisible phase spider that is somewhere in your house right now. Sleep tight. PJW, Charo Arcadius, a tiefling warrior whose tail is his best friend and worst enemy. The only thing beefer than his warlock's gladiator's frame is the innumerable amount of times they've beefed it doing incredibly dumb tail stunts. Daniel R., a gnomish tinkerer who invented the Bohemian equivalent of chapstick. It's pretty much exactly the same, except you have to squeeze it out of a bug's butt, and the bug does scream the entire time. But hey, no more cracked lips. Josh S., a.k.a. Josh Scoop, holds the record in Bohemia for most scoops of an adorable creature. One scooped... 50 bullywug peepers at once. They would have been able to scoop more, but the rest of the peepers were mid-coitus, and that threw Josh off their game. Dom R, a walking, talking palm treant who lives at the beach. Not much good in a fight, but could accidentally drop a coconut on you, so watch out for that, I guess. Nicholas R, Bohemia's best candle maker. Nothing magical about Nicholas. They're just super good at making candles, and everyone appreciates and values them for it. Jennifer V, the goof guru, rules a nat 20 on every goof. The only wizard to ever master the puke berry variant of the good berry cantrip spell. Matt H. joined the crack tooth clan literally a day before the band of boobs rolled into town. Sorry Matt, your parents were right. You should have gone to dentistry school. Jacob J. a rare holographic dragon. They shine with a polychromatic brilliance that dwarfs the majesty of the other metallic dragons. Jacob is the last of their kind and as all the other holographic dragons have been captured and placed in plastic sleeves for all of eternity. Destin C garnered the good favor of Yanoba by offering the great beast a breath mint after she spit Bastion back up. Devin B, the tallest crick bullywug in this pile of mud we call Bohemia. Lore of Devin B's height has reached far and wide as admiring crick bullywugs whisper, Did you hear? Devin B so tall they're nearly thigh high. Michael L and Asimar, who is hence the title Fallen Angel, as they swear they meant to jump, they just stumbled when they landed so it looked like a fall. Sam H, a powerful tabaxi wizard who needed a break from wizarding and is pretending to be a normal cat on the lap of Nana Kindleaf. Kelvin Noodles, the noodle doodler, can predict the future by slapping noodles on a canvas and reading the secret message within. Swears that every time they ask the noodles about Balnor, the noodles spell out 1914. Christian H, Sergio, Salazar, Solomon, Sacarius de Silvia, seventh of his name, a Peruvian snake folk with a sweet snake pattern on his skin. Sergio is so sexually, it actually hinders them romantically. Every time they get close to someone they like, their erotic power is is so potent the person accuses them of being a succubus and won't return their calls max l rising in the ranks of the thieves guild max l has been butting heads with joris claiming that under joris they're just a handful of disorganized pickpockets whereas under max they could oceans 11 the shit out of smugglers bounty trey lay trey lay is like sofe it's cray slay trey lay slay evan k aka malvo donstar come one come all to malvo donstar's traveling druid enclave malvo donstar's traveling druid enclave is like the circus except with way more wrinkly old shaman sweating out way more psychedelics many a mother has had their heart broken by a note saying i've run away with the traveling druid enclave grace h the graceful h an airship pilot well known across bohemia in spite of the fact that their airship is animated by magic and leaves no smoke trail the graceful ace has perfected sky riding by just lighting the butt of their ship on fire then spelling as much as they can before it crashes and explodes their insurance premium is very high Aaron G is an animated guitar who plays humans. It's crazy when you reverse the situation, it seems barbaric. Eric B, a tech-savvy wizard who just upgraded their spell book to a spell Kindle. They have the same amount of slots, but they can prepare pretty much any spell and one John Grisham novel per day. Jory S, Bastion's best friend who nominated Bastion to be on an episode of Queer Eye. Unfortunately, when the gang came to ma- make over Bastion, Antony got bit by a knoll and the shoot got canceled. At least you tried, Jory. John W.G., an herbalist who makes a Bohemian equivalent of Viagra from the blood of Succubi and the Tears of Revenants. Alucard, an actor who plays the captain of a fleet of anthropologically minded airships on the beloved Bohemian sci-fi show Sky Trek. Andrew R., a giant Yanoba-sized worm who terrorizes is a cavernous mountain but is actually a vegan their followers lay out tofurkey wraps and buffalo cauliflower wings then do beet juice rituals to summon them baby doc 
which is short for baby doctorate. That's right, this tiny tot is the youngest PhD at Bohemia U's prestigious school of sociology. They wrote their thesis on subtle classism and oppression in Galateron's public transportation system. And finally, Andrew A., a fire giant firefighter, kind of a Dexter situation where they're using their perversity for the greater good. Also, Andrew A. doesn't just put out fire, they straight up murder it. Thank you guys so much for listening. Uh, head on over to the Patreon to check out our short rest, patreon.com slash nadpod. We'll be back next week with our Crickbiss special, I Need a Glass of Water. See you guys next time. That was a HeadGum Podcast. <laughs>